trying to think of a single Dynasty Warriors track I don't enjoy. I don't think there's ever been one. Oh, I already know Sly Don take. That's not news to me. We've been new. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. CME, I'm here. Thank you for the follow. I gotta unmute those. There we go. We got Manjito Yoshimitsu. Thank you for the follow. That's a lot of hosts. Sir Allen! Sir Allen, thank you for the 76 whole years. Daisy, thank you for the host. Who dares? No, please. E. Oh, no. <laughs> thank you for the 100 E's. <laughs> Draco's on, thank you for the host. Space Hopper Copter, Cinnery, and Podge, thank you for the hosts. Ultra Gamer, thank you for the host. <laughs> the, de <laughs> the delay of that punchline. Sports it's synth game. Amazing. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, the bot is still dead. We'll get that fixed over the weekend. I haven't had any time while I'm moving shit over from stream elements to stream labs. Been busy all week. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fixed over the weekend, don't worry. Um Danny Kirby, thank you for the host. Ponch, thank you for the nine whole years. Raycat, thank you for the 300 bits for the entire EA Sports bit. I can't believe it. Thank you so much, everyone. Stream labs to stream elements. Yeah, that's what I meant. The other way around. Sorry. Hi, hello, everyone. Who dares? I just got here. Goaty underscore, thank you for the seven underscore years. I can't believe it. Look at that filthy check mark in the chat. Check marks in chat? Disgusting. Can't believe it. <laughs> uh happy Friday, everybody. I woke up but I woke up like like a couple hours ago, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been it's been that kind of a week where we just kinda wake up and do a stream. It's fight game Friday. We got to play some fight games. We got to play some DOS fighters because it's been a while. But more specifically, we have to play Taiwanese DOS fighting games based on ancient China. That's the plan today. We're getting hyper fucking specific today. Kenbo? We can't play Kenbo. Can't play as Kenbo. Violent Vengeance is not based in and on ancient China. Yeah, it's a very macaw stream. As we all know, Macaw 45 invented the Three Kingdoms era of China. It's all fictional. Created by his Australian bird mind. Anyway, we're playing Sango Fighter first. We might as well play Sango Fighter first, because uh, every game following this one is directly inspired by Sango Fighter. Of course it is. <laughs> Sango Fighter is a is a panda entertainment joint from 1993. Yeah, we're, we're setting the bar pretty high. Oda Nobunaga, I don't know that person. We've never heard of him. Sounds fictional. Sounds made up. There's a there's a panda entertainment joint in 1993. Panda entertainment, I don't think is around anymore. I'm pretty sure they're doing like. <laughs> Pretty sure they're, like, panda software now and make, like, antivirus software or some shit. They definitely don't make games anymore. That's okay, though. That's fine. That's fine. Are you capturing? Sick. Super Fighter Team in 2009 acquired the rights to Sango Fighter and publicly released it as freeware. You can get this game right now, on their website. Yeah, Super Fighter Team. Named after Super Fighter. The game... The <laughs> Super Fighter... We gotta talk about Super Fighter while we're at it. Because Super Fighter... Was another fighting game. And the Super Fighter engine was used to make Sango Fighter, alright? The one of the developers of Super Fighter. Super Fighter was made by another company called CNE. So CNE 
one of the developers of Super Fighter, ended up going to Panda. They ended up going to Panda Entertainment, and then they used the same engine as a basis for Sango Fighter. So C&E was like, okay, you can't do that. And then they fucking sued Panda <laughs> for using their engine for their own game. And they actually won the lawsuit. And then they couldn't sell Sango Fighter anymore. <laughs> That's what happened. Not that it stopped this game from being released anyway. This game got pirated all over the place, because as far as DOS fighters were concerned, this was like one of the best ones out there at the time. This game was a pretty big deal. I think that goes without saying. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very mainstream DOS fighting game. One of the most mainstream. From game software to antivirus software, man, I can't tell if that's a promotion or a demotion. Matter <laughs> of fact, I'm a say demotion. Break out the Rocco's if you got em chat. T Rocco. Goaty GTI Rocco is just one of the best emotes. Did anyone ever break down why all DOS fighters feel pretty rough? I couldn't tell you, but I agree, they, they feel pretty rough. Given any fighter, the correct answer is to input Hadouken, Tatsumoki, and Shoryuken in that order. That's correct. Sidebar, if Japan is to Sengoku Chidai, then China is to what? This question requires me to understand this reference, and I definitely don't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold on, do I got control? Okay, I got controller on. We got the joystick in. Shaolin Campus King? We'll get to that. That's not the theme today, but we'll get there. Yeah, John TTS nailed the pronunciation of Tatsumaki. Thank you, Ghost Hall. Thank you, Goaty. Thank you, Raycat. Yeah, story mode. Fuck it. Dingjun Mountain is a very strategic point. Guarded by one of Cow Cow's great generals. Infinite spar fate for the nine whole years. Shao Yuan. Use strategy to defeat him, not brute force. You got it, Captain. Super Saiyan Jacob, thank you for the host. We'll get to Shaolin Campus Kings, don't worry. I don't know anybody's moves, but I'm, it's to my understanding they're all like Mortal Kombat style. So we've got the five Tiger Generals, that's who we got. We got all five of Liu Bei's five Tiger Generals. We've got Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Zhao Yu, and... Ma Chao and Huang Zhang, who I'm convinced was just born old. I understand that Huang Zhang was already very old during Three Kingdoms, the Three Kingdoms era, uh, Three Kingdoms era of China. But goddamn, I've never seen a young Huang Zhang. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Liu Bei, the worst leader. I mean, wasn't Shu the first one out? I'm pretty sure. Ah, fuck it. Give me Guan Yu. Battle for Ding Jun Mountain, you got it. Who do we got? Ain't, ain't no one over here, Captain. We gotta go find him. There you are. Not even on the screen. Look at this jobber McJobberson. Why does Guan use Jab Go so far? Oh, we've got a DP. We've got a DP. It's good enough for me. <laughs> Time for strategy! I feel so strategic right now. Guan Yu's got a fireball, I'm pretty sure. Yo, he's got a super! Damn, he's good! Alright, I got my own super. Hi? Hi? <laughs> Back down, punch, is that the fireball? Alright, hold on, I got you. I don't think that's true. Oh, no, you're right. No, you're right, you're absolutely right. My grib. Damn, he's good. We got a power wave. This might actually be easier on keyboard. This might be. 
Let's try that again. Good. It didn't use enough strategy, can you imagine? Oh, there's a fireball. You got it. This is a character I can comprehend. No problem. Yeah, go on, use fucking dead. That's fine. If this is like that other game, any moment some white beard is gonna appear out from the ether and she'll place a gun on. Oh, he's sick! From then on, victory shall be yours in one hit kills. No bees. <laughs> Thank you, Ghost Hall. Alright, so we don't have much range on that. I just, I just want to grab more. I just want to get more. Want to land more grabs with Jang Fei. Hold on. Oh, he's too good. This fireball is apparently where we live. All of my buttons appear to be unsafe on block. That's a problem. All right, fair enough. We're gonna have to find something that's plus on block, because we're getting punished on a lot of things. Yep, yeah, everything's unsafe. That's fine. Oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> I have a slide! Oh, fair enough. I can make this work. I got a good jab and a slide? I've seen all I need. Okay, that's still unsafe. Every button is unsafe, I understand. What's <laughs> that voice called? That's pretty good. Punishes, baby. I'm a big fan of this Sly Zhao Yun's god. Oh, he's good! <laughs> it does sound like he's saying Ba Donkey! Another one. Nah, that shit ain't safe. Oh, he's got more boys. We have additional boys. Another one. Another one. <laughs> wow! <Wah! laughs> yeah? How are you back? Nah, get him out of here. Dion Wei stands guard at Key Mountain. Or is it Chi Mountain? His halberds are deadly weapons! I'm used to Dion Wei being bald and having an axe and a shield. <laughs> Let's see what Machao's got. Hold on. Hold on, let me f let's figure out let's figure out some moves. He's got a chicken wing. Machiao's got a chicken wing. That's pretty good. It's unsafe. It's under safe. It's uh, it's unsafe. I understand. <laughs> we got two. <laughs> Holy shit, that's such a huge area! Yo, this boy's got some... This boy's got some reach! Alright, don't jump. Don't jump at Dion Way, I understand. No jumping ever. He's got those. 
excuse me, excuse me, he just fucked off, I understand. He just decided to leave, he didn't, he had seen enough. <laughs> yep. You walk forward, flash kick. No charging. Well, there is, I don't think there's charge moves in this game. There are moves that require a back forward input. But there are no charge moves, I don't think. Hold up, give me one second. I'm being messaged about things. Getting messaged a lot. <laughs> like, getting messaged a lot during streams lately. I'm back in. <laughs> we got Huang Zhang. Let's see. E. He's got an uppercut! Alright. Ah, there's his arrows. Huang Zhang is a world famous archery. Better have an arrow attack. It's Goken? I don't think it's Goken. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot at him. This is where we live. Oh, that hits both sides! Understood. I'm out of here. We can't establish the range to start shooting at him. That's <laughs> his moves got too hard. <laughs> oh, big arrow! So it seems like... Seems like when you have full meter, if you just do a special move, it turns into like a super version. Oh, he also has a chicken wing. Is this the is this the cartoon you keep seeing on Macaw's stream? No. Chuan Shuo, I'm sure, is based on based on some sort of Chinese mythology thing, but I don't think it's based in, like, Three Kingdoms, period. No, there's a ton of Three Kingdoms shit. Not even just fighting games, just, like, a lot of shit in general. We might have to run the arcade mode and not the story mode. I don't think we're prepared for this. That's okay, though. Pardon me? Ray Smash Brawl, thank you for the host. <laughs> Chinese DOS game collection. Taiwanese DOS games, specifically. Yo, Dan fan, thank you for the host. One day you'll go down the Three Kingdoms rabbit hole. It's a very deep rabbit hole. Good luck. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Z Tetraminos, thank you for the follow. Dion Wei might be the ultimate opponent. It's no wonder he was one of Cow Cow's bodyguards. <laughs> Is he is a very large spin. Well, the way around that, I assume, is to throw more fireballs. All right, let's go to battle mode. This is like just regular ass arcade mode. This is a. This should be more civilized. Maybe. Maybe not. What do we got? Oh, we get to see the full cast. We've got Xu Huang, Zhao Yuan, Zhao Dun. He's got one eye. Good. He's supposed to. Juju Dianwe. Lu Bu with an umlaut. This is, has Lu Bu always had an umlaut in his name? <laughs> Chicken. Nah, I'm gonna go back to Guan Yu. Fuck it. 
Not thank you for the thank you for the host. It's a traditional German name, I believe you. <laughs> There's my fireball. That's all we needed, baby. Look at that sunset. I'm definitely I'm a sucker for a good sunset. I think we gotta abuse, we gotta abuse the absurd range of Guan Yu's jabs. That's what we gotta do. Yeah, he's got his trademark power wave. Is there any particular reason Guan Yu's didn't always like depict it as being red? I know that the long beard and the spear are iconic aspects of his character, but why is he also red most of the time? He's described in the book as being red, just like literally red, I understand. D Junior D, thank you for the host. It's sunburn, yeah, you're right. Oh, they got those. They got those. Yeah, red hair wasn't just Lu Bu's horse. Yo, the grab range is pretty good. Another one. We got so much startup on the, uh, or we have so much recovery on the fireball, rather. It's really easy to get punished for throwing a bad fireball. This is where we live. This jab right here is where we live. A. Alright, we found the strat. The strat is to just jab more. Because <laughs> it's a really good button. Most of the games we're playing today, I think all of them, in fact, are just two button games. You have a punch and a kick button. Very simple. Oh my god, he just jumped in and command grip! He's got a Blanca ball! Of course he does. Okay, you seem pretty good, sir. You seem pretty good. <laughs> he does have a balloon. Oh, he's got those. Maybe that's who we should pick. We should switch over to... We should switch to Shu Chu. That's what we should do. Is this Street Fighter? It's... I mean... Do you want a... Do you want a... A, a, a serious answer to this question? Or... <laughs> Yeah, if you squint a bit, it's just like it. I like what I'm saying. Hold on, let's switch to Shoo Chu. I like this plan. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I've been inspired. I want to pick him, he's got a Blanca ball. Put me back in. That's who I want. <laughs> Alright, let's locate the Blanca ball. I found the Blanca ball. What do you mean it's completely airborne? He threw a fireball and went straight over it. I've fallen in love with a character. I've done it. We found the guy. We found the character for us. Yes, fireball seemed pretty absurd. <laughs> I wonder if you could get across a Blanca ball. Oh, 
another one. Oh, shit! No, I don't think we solved the game. I do like this character, though. He's pretty good. Oh, he does. He's just, he's just got, like, a... He's got a grappler. He's just got a grappler-style crossbody. Down and punch in the air. As every big boy in a fighting game should have. Balloon! That is a pretty good sweep. Oh, we got got we got got pretty handily, I think. We're going to Sango Fighter tournaments. I don't know if those are a thing. Yeah, no, it's pretty hard. That's a running theme with a lot of DOS fighting games in general. Like that's we, we I completely expected that to be a thing. How do you how do you get around this fireball? What do they what do they do? Yeah, I don't think Wu is in this game. They added Wu to Sango Fighter 2, but I don't think this first one has any Wu characters in it. Was that a completely different Blanca ball? Hold on. What did I just do? Oh, that is a different move. What's Blanca ball? It's just back forward punch. So the, the, the his regular ball is just back forward punch, and it seems that the... the, like, air one that ends with the crossbody, that's down back punch. Yeah, okay. And it seems like we can pretty reliably get a grab afterwards, too. And then his fireball is back down punch, which is a weird ass input, but it works. All of his special moves appear to be with punch. I have not found a kick special yet. I don't think he has any. Okay, so the grab afterwards is not guaranteed. Understood. Or pass Guan Yu, at least. Yeah, the 412. It's not even 412, it's just 42. 4, 2. <laughs> no, let me body slam you. Ah! <laughs> There's a lot of characters with just random spinning attacks. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Did he iframe through that? Damn, he's good. I understand. I understand. I understand. This is the only saying go fighter character for me. Shuju. This is the only one. Yo, Brad, thank you for the host! Oh, word? Hold on. Can I grab them out of block stun? Wait a second. I didn't just grab him out of block stun, did I? I hope that's not what I just did. I can? Okay, I, I wasn't seeing things then. If that's the case, we can simplify matters a bit. That means we can set up some grime. No, the meter on the bottom, I'm pretty sure, is a super meter, so... Once the meter is full, you do whatever special move, I guess, is compatible with being a super. And then it turns into the super version of that move. It's, it's the same input. Oh, word? Hold on. Wait a goddamn second. What do you mean I can grab him out of blocks done? <laughs> yeah. Alright, I figured it out. Was that cross-up ball? 
I got hit. I got hit by that. I absolutely. If someone did that on me, I got hit every time. Well, now that we understand that they can be grabbed out of blocks done, all we have to do is set up situations where we can grab them out of blocks done. Just jump in, make them block a jump in, and then grab them. That's all we gotta do. We were we were complicating matters so much we didn't have to be. That's fine. That's fine. We figured it out. Now we understand the grime, so we just have to do that. Just do that until they die. <laughs> yeah, the strat has been found. Shao Dune. Oh, the stage is so sick! The flaming ship in the background! The stages in this game look so goddamn good. Yeah, the boat battle. I feel like there have been a lot of these throughout the Three Kingdoms era. Lots of burning ships. <laughs> yeah, the Battle of Chibi had one. Uh, Yi Ling had a flaming boat, I think. There's been a boat battle or two. Oh, he's good. Cross up. He blocked it! He's the best! He blocked my cross-up ball! How did he do that? Uh-oh. Oh, he's good. Yeah, he's got a flash kick. I mean, a lot of fighting games that came out around this time, they obviously borrowed a thing or two from other fighting games that were out. Anytime a fighting game got remotely successful, a lot of other fighting games popped out the woodwork to borrow things from it. That's just kind of how it was. <laughs> he blocked it again! One of these cross-up balls is going to work. Street Fighter should have borrowed blocks done in the grab. What is this bonus stage? I'm shooting birds. My cursor is so slow. Eh. I'm gonna shoot this bird. Eh. Gotta leave my shots. Damn it. Let me hit one bird. That's all I need, baby. Our arrows go pretty slow. Seems like we have to lead our shots quite a lot. There we go. We got one. Yeah, fucking bird land. Oh, somehow that worked. I'll take it. This is a cool bonus stage. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It seems unreasonably difficult with the speed that our crosshair moves, but it's pretty cool. That's a cool bonus stage. I like that. Dion way. I don't know if I'm ready. He seemed pretty damn good. Please, I beg you. Hey, there we go. I'm used to Dion Way having no helmet and being completely bald. Yeah, he's got a huge DP. <laughs> Dion Way is like the most absurdly large DP. 
Now walk into my fireball, please. Just walk into it. The water is fine. Another one. Alright, he's got those. Let's not test him. You can't see any messages in chat? Twitch is having a normal one, I see. Twitch having a completely normal one? <laughs> I guess the game would be easily doable with every character if you can just keep grabbing out of blocks done. I'm actually curious to go back to the story mode with this newfound tech we have. Because I bet we'd do a little bit better now that we understand the meta of just kind of setting up grabs on Wake Up. Now that we understand how this works... We should go back to the story mode. Because I imagine it's not that long. Or maybe it is. I can't imagine the five tiger generals fight themselves. So, there wouldn't be... You wouldn't have to go through that many characters, presumably. Oh, hell yeah. We found the speed tech, even. Yeah, now that we know how to be a degenerate in this game, we gotta go back. It's seven fights the story mode? Okay, after we clear arcade mode with Shuju, we're gonna go back. There is really is Hummer Team strats. This is some, like, NES bootleg strat. Okay, that we cannot set up a grab on the uh, on that body slam move. It's just not. <laughs> it's, it's not a good enough move for it. Another one. You didn't block, you fool! Who knew Dynasty Warriors was a fighter first? You jest, but it actually was. Dynasty Warriors one was a fighting game. That's the reason the numbering of the series got all fucked up in Japan. Yeah, we've already streamed Dynasty Warriors 1. It's a PS1 fighting game. In Japan, Dynasty Warriors, the fighting game, was just called uh, Sengoku Muso, I'm pretty sure. But then, when they started doing... Uh, when they started making the rest of the Dynasty Warriors series... Like, they start being Musos. Like, Dynasty Warriors 2, the game we know to be a Muso. That's not called Sengoku Muso 2 in Japan. That's called Shin Sengoku Muso. So that's one. And then Dynasty Warriors 3 is Shin Sengoku Muso 2, and the numbering has been one behind ever since. Like, the numbering in Japan is one behind because they don't consider the first game to be the same... The only character strong enough to defeat Shuju is a second Shuju. Yeah, the unbeatable Kiko Show. If I block his Blanca Ball, I can probably punish with my own Blanca Ball. Dynasty Warriors 2 through 9 are 1 through 8 in Japan. Yes, that is correct. We used, um, we used Dynasty Warriors 5 and 6 music for today's stream intro, and the album art showed 4 and 5 instead of 5 and 6, because the numbers are one behind. Must be annoying when importing. There's probably some amount of confusion, I imagine. 
He blocked it! <laughs> I don't know why I keep assuming the AI is gonna fall for a cross-up ball. I don't know why. Bonus stage. This game got ported to a bunch of things, too. This game got ported to the, um... This game got ported to the PC-98. This game got ported to the... The Super A-Can, which I think was a... Was that a Korean? Is that a Korean console? Or might, that might have been Taiwanese. We'll get to that. We'll get to a super, We'll get to some Super A-Can games at some point. If we can. And it was uh, also ported illegally to the Sega Master System. A game called Sengoku... Uh, <laughs> Sengoku... Sengoku Shi 3, I think? We, we streamed that one. I can't hit a single bird. These birds are too good. There I go, I got one bird. I hit a single bird. The Super A-Can emulation is currently awful, I believe it. I have not heard good things about Dynasty Warriors 9 while we're on the subject of Dynasty Warriors. I haven't heard... I don't think I've heard a single good thing about 9. Which, that can't... that can't be a good sign. Zheng Fei's jab has the unfortunate distinction of going up and not forward. <laughs> Yeah, my younger brother is really huge into, uh, Three Kingdoms China shit. I don't know if he's played Sango Fighter, he's not much of a fighting games guy. But he would like it. <laughs> I love Shang Face! I like that he's got the Hagger Pile Driver. <laughs> the one that doesn't spin. There we go. <laughs> Who's left? Shaho Yuan, and then we probably have uh, Cow Cow and Lubu. Can't think of anyone else. Is he Sino, please, or Eno, please? That's uh. I'm sorry, I'm not taking questions at this time. I love Shuju's fireball. It's fucked up how good it is. I so want them to fall for cross-up ball. Just once. Just one time. <laughs> Who's got the demon input? This game's only got two buttons, unless they made it, like, jab, jab, forward. If they made it, like, punch, punch, forward, kick punch, but I don't think anyone's got that. <laughs> what a hitbox on that kick! Damn, he's good. Doesn't stop Fousies! Yeah, you're right. Okay, there we go. It's pronounced sow, sow. I think it's pronounced like sow, sow. I think it's pronounced with like a T-S sound. But through all the games that I've played, they always called him Cow Cow, and that's just kind of stuck with me. I don't know. Everyone watching the stream gained one social credit. I got plus two for streaming this game. I can't believe it. Are my social credits redeemable somewhere? I don't think they are. Yeah, I do. It's, not, it's not pronounced Cow Cow. That's just how I've always... That's how I've always heard it pronounced. Pretty sure it's supposed to be Tsao Tsao. From what I hear, speaking Chinese is, like, really, really hard and complex because there are very minute pronunciation differences. Like, what? there could be four words that all sound exactly the same, but they're pronounced very, very slightly different. Not to mention there's, like, four kinds of Chinese or some shit that you have to memorize. It seems really tough. 
But I suppose if it's your first language, you're probably more used to it. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, intonation. That's what I... That's the word I was looking for. She, 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 she are all differently pronounced. Yeah, it's probably four different words. English is hard enough, man. I can't comprehend. Lubu! Looking real Shoto-like. He's got a real Shoto stance over there. He had some... I, he's got the guile, so he's got the guile backdrop. Please no. Please I beg you. Remember, do not pursue Lubu. No. Never pursue Lubu. Except, I mean, the games tell you not to pursue Lubu, but he can usually be beaten in those games. He's just, like, absurdly overpowered at the time. And the games usually reward you when you do pursue him. If you manage to beat him. The problem with pursuing Lu Bu is they usually place him at, like, the Battle of Hu Lao Gate, which as far as... As far as, like, Three Kingdoms era history goes, the Battle of Hu Lao Gate was, like, really, really early. And they... Lu Bu is just always right there as, like, this early game super boss. <laughs> Is this called Three Kingdoms Era? I think Sango in general. I think Sa I think Sango in general is supposed to be like a. I think Sango is like a shorthand for Three Kingdoms. I think it's supposed to be pronounced like Sanguo. Canomite! Thank you for the five whole years. How can this be? Yeah, we had a draw game against Lupu. I wish it said Sam like in Dragon Master. <laughs> That's the funniest draw message. <laughs> we did it, Shuju. Okay, now that we understand how to cheese the game, because of your superior martial arts skill, you were able to defeat the other generals. You are now the most powerful of them all. That's canon. That's well probably done, that Turner. feels canon. Well done, Turner. Gear spike, thank you for the seven whole years. I think we're stuck here. No, I have to hit the escape key. Got it. Well done, Turner. Thank you, Panda Entertainment. I don't know if Panda Entertainment. I don't even know if Panda Software, the thing that they were after... I don't even know if they're still around. I know that Panda Software was making antivirus shit, anti-malware shit in, like, Taiwan, China. I don't know if they're around anymore. They might be. Never let dreams die. Thank you for playing. They became Panda Global! That sounds like... That's Cap... <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again with our newfound grime. Dingjun Mountain is a very strategic point guarded by one of Cao Cao's great generals, Xiao Yuan. Use strategy to defeat him, not brute force. My strategy is to throw him out of block stun. That's my strategy. I don't know if we have any lingering normals on Guan Yu that we can... Ah, there it is. Who dares? Who raided? Bluto to you too! Thank you for the huge raid! Yeah, I'm not sure why Guan Yu is red. I think he's just, like, famously depicted as being red. And in the, like, Romance of the Three Kingdoms novel, I guess he's described as being red. I don't know if they literally meant his skin was red, though.
He's angry. I don't know if... Being angry doesn't seem like a Guan Yu characteristic. That seems like more of, like, Zhang Fei being angry and drunk. That seems like more his bag than Guan Yu's. Okay, so Guan Yu might not be the best character for this strat. Thank you so much for the raid, Bluto, by the way. Guan Yu might be better off just sticking to the, uh... the jabs. He's got a really good jab. Bluto finished the cat game? Good shit. I was lurking in there. The game looks pretty good. Gamers, I think we broke the game, because I'm not doing this. I'm not actually inputting this, he's just going on his own. Somehow we've managed to softlock Sango Fighter. Yes, <laughs> All right. All right, let's reboot Sango Fighter. I can't believe we softlocked saying go fighter today. How can this be? Cowabunga! Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> we weren't even trying to break that one. It just broke. That one's not on me. Usually we try to break games on purpose. That one was a complete accident. I had nothing to do with that one. <laughs> I wonder if that's specifically a Guan Yu problem. Let's avoid Guan Yu for now. Let's, let's try. Let's try literally anyone else. This elbow might be good for our needs. Oh hell yeah, that'll work. Where you at, Shaho Yuan? Where you at? Oi! 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 Super Saiyan Jacob, I don't know how you can be questioning this, as it was pretty clear. <laughs> Oh no, this kick the, 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 this kick is the button. This is the way. We have to land the kick though. Oh he's good. Air down plus punch Oh Zhang Fei has one of those. Oh. I thought only I thought only Shu Zhu would have like a body splash. Does Guan Yu have one of those? Hold on, I have an idea. Does Guan Yu have a command normal? Oh he does have a splash Okay, that's I understand. I understand, that's all I need. I got all I need. Got all I need, gamers. I've seen the only normal I need. Oh, hell yeah, that's the strat, baby. He can do it off of a neutral jump, too. That's illegal. I guess I'm okay with that trade. That seems fine. Somehow we jumped over it. Hey, there we go. 
<laughs> he just leaves. He just left. He just decided I had seen enough. He's gone. Lubu has an air throw? That doesn't bode well. Get back here with your pixel health bar. Hey, I'll take that. Yeah, he just fucking dipped. He just dipped and came back. Our Dion way we had some trouble with before. Let's see if this goes any better this time. Always oh, got a good anti air. Fucking Jobber McJobberson over here. He's got real buttons. Yo, what's up, Metal Grease Solid? We're out here Sango fighting. His <laughs> <laughs> zone about with. Yeah, you know, you're right. He has really he has really like fast startup on a lot of his moves. Dion Way does. And considering how far they go, it seems like he, having to react to them is uh that's an issue. You got to react pretty fucking quick. <laughs> I just was that a snapback? <laughs> Damn, first ever snapback. I can't believe it. That's crazy. <laughs> Good. This game's like 2% functional. Nah, this game's completely functional. What do you mean? Interesting. Holding down back charges meter really fast. I just learned. I just learned that charging or holding down back seems to charge meter really fucking quick. Understood, understood, yeah, understood. That makes sense. I'm not sure if it makes sense, but it feels right. I'm gonna shoot him. To softlock, do a special on the exact frame soldier flickers for the last time. That's how we did it. Oh. Yeah, let's try to let's try to not do that. The game does run at like 20 frames. We're playing it at 3,000 cycles, which is the I, that's just the DOS box like default cycles uh, cycles it's running at. We could make- we could manually make it go faster or slower, but I feel like that might break something. Hey! Hold on, let me get this meter back, hold on. You've been told 6,000 is what's intended? Oh, maybe we should crank it up then. Any faster than 6,000 and the game crashes. I'm gonna lame him out. I'm gonna lame him out. I don't have the right angle on that button to do that, though. Huang Zhang's crouching punch seems pretty good. That goes pretty damn far. Yeah, we just can't jump at Dion Way. We just can't. <laughs> you just can't jump at this character. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. We already lost two characters, though. That doesn't bode well. 
the Wuzhang plains are guarded by one of Cao Cao's favorite generals, a strong man named Tiger Fool Shu Shu. The best time to attack is before Not sunset. Now, you got it. Here I go. Ah, there's my fireball. Yo, what's up, Javi? We're out here playing Sango Fighter, the greatest game ever made. The greatest Taiwanese DOS fighting game based on ancient China. <laughs> He's got two jobbers. He has two jobber friends. <laughs> Are we winning? I think so. We're doing okay. grabbed out of hit stun too but we have to land pretty close to them which means we have to do like a really we have to do like a really close jump in which puts us at risk there we go we got him Javi has a new emote oh that is pretty good What's the second best Taiwanese fighting game based on ancient China? Though probably Sango Fighter 2. Actually, I'm not sure which Sango Fighter is generally agreed upon to be better. Chat would know. I'm not that familiar with them. But where is Axe is very powerful. Who's Axe? I didn't catch it. Oh no. <laughs> when do we fight Sango? Never. Who is Sango? <laughs> don't mind me looking for looking for Ma Chao's moves, don't mind me. They don't seem to be on They don't seem to be on Ah, okay. So he's got kick specials, not punch ones. I'll take that trade, I'm okay with that. There's chicken wing. No, there's no block button. It's just proximity guard from full screen. <laughs> Give me out. Huh. It's not an amazing trade for me, if I'm being honest. Oh, what was that? <laughs> I like that they do the same shit. Yeah, we definitely... <laughs> we definitely can't jump in, he's got those... Alright, I think he's got three special moves. I think I found them all. They're all on kick. Where did you get two more jobbers from? Hey, you. Fall for this. Oh! 
He kind of did. Oh, he can do that on Wake Up, though. Yeah, the music in this is good. I think it's on, like, uh, I don't know if we're on Sound Blaster or if we're on, like, Roland in the sound settings. Oh, Zhu Huang, that's who we just got cooked by. It is very DOS music. I think it's on, like, Roland, the Roland sound chip or whatever the fuck. Fireball. Yeah, I don't think we're listening to the original one. It's just whatever it was on. <laughs> hey! You put that in just the right spot, they can't jump over it. Maybe that's what we should do. Even after we get hit, we should just try to grab him anyway. It seems like it works sometimes. Is this Nooch? Is this Nooch? Might be. He did a fireball as he walked away. So even the grab can be a super. It doesn't seem like you have set supers, it just seems like when you do a special move with full bar, it becomes a better version of that move. But it seems like grabs also count. We're doing like a super grab of some sort. Which means we should probably charge meter more often so that we can do those. Yeah, EX specials sort of. Can you not? Thank you. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. We gotta build up bar for, like, EX grab. Seems like really good damage. We must win the battle at Chibi, but take heed of Jahudun. Though he is one-eyed, he is a beast on the battlefield. They get meter by walking back. It seems like holding down back also works pretty well. Yeah, of course, Chibi is the flaming boat stage. Yeah, that kills Jobbers instantly. That's crazy! That's a completely different Jobber. Jobber 2! Tweedledum! Are you good? Okay. He was just kind of stuck. Yo, he got the grip! I'm charging. You can't stop me building this meter. That is a lot of damage. That's a pretty that's a pretty reliable source of damage, I would think. Yeah, the two-frame animation of the guy jumping off of the ship. He goes right back onto the ship. Unless it's implied to be a group of people in single file jumping off that boat. <laughs> or maybe he's just really maybe he can't swim. Or maybe he's just really indecisive. He's like, maybe I can save the burning boat. Maybe. How hard could it be to put out a flaming ship? It's on top of all this water. <laughs> the original author hates that animation. Everyone's got a DP in this game. 
Nice, 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 nice. Shu Province is under the rule of Lu Bu, the strongest general of this era. They knew that at the time, did they? You must not underestimate him. Even at the time, they knew he was the best. I understand. <laughs> what was that hitbox? Hey. Yeah, don't pursue him. He, I mean, he looks, he looks ready to fuck some people up. To be quite honest, he looks ready to fight. I don't like that he's got a head stomp. That's a pretty cool move. What if you can find a clean version of Don't Pursue Lubu? Probably. You'd have to go to, like, the... What, Dynasty Warriors 2 or 3? If you go to Sound Resource, there might just be, like, isolated voice clips. He just came in doing that! Was that a... Was that a Tekken and Tag Tournament hard tag? Yeah, he flew in. He didn't wait. Yeah, you must not underestimate him. He's only got one jobber, though, which is kind of refreshing. Yeah. He super dashed and kind of did. Xiao Yun seems to be one of the better, one of the better characters. Like his slide is pretty good. You can set up, uh, you can set up the, the you can set up the dirt if you get a knockdown with it. Setting it up in the first place, especially later on in the story mode, seems to be like the main problem because they don't really fall for blocking jump ins anymore. They just don't care about blocking jump-ins. They're like, I have a DP, I'm just gonna DP you instead. Which is what they should do. Yeah, we got suplexed by Lubu, he's got those. I'll take that trade, that's not a terrible trade. Yeah, they can't be grabbed out of their special moves either, it seems. Alright, let's use the knowledge we've obtained. That's the farthest we've gotten so far. Let's run that back. We're gonna beat this damn story mode. Don't you worry, we're gonna get there. <laughs> Why is this game kinda tight? I mean, this is one of the most popular DOS fighting games. Like, straight up. This is not an obscure game by any means. This is a this is a very like this is a known dope game. Isn't this game also on Steam? I think they put this I think they put this on Steam. That was a strange interaction. Yeah, no, the game's on. The game's for free. You can go to, uh, what is it? Superfighter.com or Superfighter Team? Or maybe it's just SangoFighter.com. The game is completely available for free on their website.
Yeah, superfighter.com. That's what it was. Thank you. That's where I got it. It's just on their website. You can also get Sango Fighter 2 and Tough Guy, which is a game that maybe we'll get to. Maybe. <laughs> I have hang-ups. I have hang-ups for, uh, for Tough Guy. <laughs> yep, sir. Yep, sir. Oh, I'm in. Never mind, we're not in. Oh my god, it hit such a big area. All right, all right, all right, all right. We could put him in proximity guard when he's trying to leave and then he won't leave as fast, I understand. He has a huge lariat and it hits both sides. Yeah, Dion Wei seems like... Dion Wei seems pretty good in this game. Just because how can you deal with any of his shit? It's unclear. It's unclear how to deal with any of his moves. You can't jump at him either, because he's got answers to that too. Now let me just build this meter real quick. Yes, they are Dino Pulsata. I suspect you uncovered that information on the website, because <laughs> that's also on their website. <laughs> we'll get to that some other time, don't you worry. Hey, we got him, just barely. If we attack super early on jump, can we bait the block instead of the anti-air? That's an idea. Hold on. I like this idea. You might be right. Yes, the AI command reads, well, that's pretty clear. Yes, but that's okay. We're more than accustomed to input reading at this point. With some of the games we've played, I think well, one of the most like input reading fighting games we've ever played on this channel is Power Quest for the Game Boy Color. <laughs> That's one of the most input reading games ever made. It's right up there with like Mortal Kombat 2, I think. Mortal Kombat 2 is notoriously a problem. It looks like they don't. It looks like they don't stick. Uh, they don't stay blocking after they block one of those. <laughs> oh, he's good. Yeah. Oh, he's leaving. That makes more sense. Oh, he's not leaving. Thought he was leaving. Now he's leaving. There he goes. He done dipped. He done dipped out of there. Yeah, yeah. 
Shuju's army of jobbers. Yeah, we got schmixed. Well, I mean, he it didn't really work out in his favor, but yeah, no, he definitely he definitely didn't do what it looked like he was doing. Yeah, but, <laughs> wasn't ready for the Blanca ball. Understood. Yeah, Machao seems pretty all right. He seems pretty good. Let's try. Let's try Huang Zhang. He's pretty reliable zoning. That might be what we need. Imagine if he came in with the Blanca ball and he just didn't bother. He didn't bother walking in or even jumping in. <laughs> it just said, fuck it. Here's a hitbox. Deal with it. But he basically did. Oh, he got to grab that time. Oh, that's not a punish. That's not a legitimate punish. I wonder if we can punish the, the Blanca Ball with Slide, though. That might be. Nine nah, pressing the shit, Captain. That's not a punish! I understand. He's got a good anti-air, though. <laughs> and he can grab us after we block. Yo, this character's a problem. Although it seems like quite a few of the way characters are problems. But they're supposed to be. They're the ones that you don't get to play as. Oh, he's good! Oh, we got, got Huang Zhang's too old. His oldness has been revealed at last. Although I suppose Huang Zhang still got to live a lot longer than a lot of these people did back in the day. People did not live long in the Three Kingdoms era. A lot of people, you're lucky if you make it to 40. Yo, the meaty jab? I'll take that. Am I living the good life? Every day I fight for my life, adorable Stray Cat. Every single day. You never know when Shuju is just gonna Blanca Ball across the screen. Were I there in the Three Kingdoms there? No. I'd be very old. I'd be close to 2,000 years old. That'd be fucked up. I'll take that trade. That's an okay trade for me. He Blanca balled straight through that. <laughs> he just didn't care at all. I don't think I don't think Guan Yu has a punish for that attack. Oh, he does have a slide. No, he doesn't have a slide. Never mind. I'm imagining it. It has come to my attention that this character has a good blank of all. Yes! Yes, he does. He's who we used to get through the arcade mode. It's pretty effective. Although, just grabbing them out of blocks done is even more effective. <laughs> we asked the same question, Demo Man. It's unclear. Apparently, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, the novel, just describes him as being red. So maybe he was just red. It could be. Yeah. 
I have not seen a Dynasty Warriors movie, no. <laughs> this is the first I've even been made aware of a Dynasty Warriors movie. That can't bode well. Oh, let's go, Zhang Fei. Wait, why is this kind of working? Hold up. Hold up. Zhang Fei's got loops. <laughs> ah, that's a real punish. That's the only punish for Blanca Ball we've seen so far. I'll take that trade. Yeah, it is news to me as well, Mike. <laughs> Alright, he dipped. He's most of the way dead, though. He can change his air momentum. Does he have infinite jobbers? He might? I feel like they only stay out for a certain amount of time, and then if you don't, like, kill them by then, they make you go through a couple more jobbers. That feels like the case. I'm digging the, uh, digging this elbow drop. That's pretty sick. Somehow we got the punish. That was unsafe on hit for him. You hate to see it. You can't kill them first time. They're just programmed to leave. That's fair enough, I suppose. Where are you at, sir? There you are. <laughs> he, just, he just didn't want to show up. He got here late. You're late, Musashi. Is this neutral? Is this neutral? Huah! I love his goofy laugh. And we killed Waluigi, it's fucked up! Yeah. And build this meter, though, hold on. Yeah. Not. Yeah. It seems like we get grab punished for yeah. damn near everything. We got grabbed out of our wake up, that's crazy! It's crazy talk. Alright, he dipped. He got the hell out of there. He was scared. Hey. I don't like these odds, though. We're in trouble. Yeah, okay. <laughs> The most reliable way to deal damage is to land a jump in and then grab. But the game doesn't seem to let you do it past a certain point, because they just kind of stop falling for it. So you'd think then that you have to kind of play a normal, sort of grounded footsies kind of deal, but that doesn't work either, because whenever you press a button, they'll press whatever button beats your button. <laughs> Is 
So I think you just kind of have to make... You just have to make a good read or two to get it started. And then you should be okay. I'm okay with that trade. That works for me. Somehow we got the grab! Not sure how, but I'll take it. And seemingly, sometimes even when we get them stuck in a jump in, they get the grab anyway. The jury's still out on what that would be, <laughs> or on why that would be. Oh, he's leaving! Get back here, cow! Oh, he's left. He's already gone. That's fine. <laughs> At least the jobbers don't have full life bars, I suppose? Pretty thankful for that. Yep. The hit stun is randomized. Don't tell me that. <laughs> You're not joking. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. That actually feels like more work to program than having it be a set amount. That feels like extra steps. He didn't care about my fireball. It had disappeared on the side of the screen. Pleasantly surprised that super versions of fireballs still clash with regular ones and disappear. There we go. <clears throat> I think we're back to Lu Bu now, but we only got Zhao Yun left. No, we're on Shaho Dune. Yo, it's a metal cue! To the burning boat! Yep. We're actually in more trouble here than we were the first time. Yep. There we go. Yeah, Shaho Dune's great. He's one of my favorites. I don't like his Dynasty Warriors 1 ending because it grosses me out. But he's a cool character. But every time Shaho Dune comes up, the only thing that comes to mind is his Dynasty Warriors 1 ending. Because that's the first that's the first thing I remember about him. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Wish I hadn't remembered that. <laughs> Adam Bomber, thank you for the host. He wasn't in the movie. That feels... I mean... He's kind of an important character. Why wouldn't he be in the movie? What an entire... He's not important to the time period that they covered. That's fair enough. That is fair enough. That just begs the question, then, what what years did they cover exactly where Jaho Dune wouldn't be involved? Unless they're doing, like, late, like, Jin Dynasty shit. I wonder if we can throw a fireball and then slide to punish the jump in. That might be the tech. Already dipped.
We have more of a... I have more of a Zhao Yun strat than before, but it might be too late. Liu Bei's mentioned in both games, and is it none of them? I think, isn't he the one that talks to you? On the map screen? Not playable, though, yeah. Oh, that's Zhu Gei Liang! That makes more sense. That's fucking weird! Why wouldn't Liu Bei be in the game? <laughs> that's weird! Oh, that is kind of a punish. I told you, roguish ham. What do you mean that goes through fireballs? Alright, we got got. We got got by the burning ship. Can someone tell you what Roguish Ham is referring to? I mean, we're specifically not saying exactly what it is, because it's gross. You can go look it up. <laughs> I have no desire to talk about it. So there's only seven fights that we have to get through. I feel like with the five characters we're given, we can definitely make this work. But some of the some of the characters we really need to like not lose anybody to. Some of the some of the later opponents are like such a huge problem that we want to have as many want to have as many attempts as possible. I'll jump in again, you think I will? Oh, never mind. He's got the answer for that. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that was my take on it too, Stream Hat Man. It's like I I used to have Dynasty Warriors 1 when I was a kid, and I had like, you know, it's not like you have anything else to do with a fighting game when you're a kid. Like, by yourself in your house. You're like, let me just beat arcade mode with everyone so I get to see the cool endings. And most of them are pretty cool. And then you get to Jaho Dune's ending, you're like, uh... Not, not happy to have seen that, actually. Twice, damn, he's the best. That button's crazy. We need we need Huang Zhang and Zhao Yun. Are they just they're the go tos for later in the game? Is it because they have a dope slide they can punish with? Yeah, let's try to hold on to them then. DPS and range. This is not Juan Shuo the game. The, the frequency with which that question has come up is alarming. <laughs> Surely, Romance of the Three Kingdoms is more well known than Macaw 45 intro meme Juan Shuo. <laughs> It's about even. No, you're probably right. You're probably right. I agree. Now give me this meter, though. How to approach? How to approach? We 
We can't stay on the ground, because he's got more range than us, but we can't jump either, because he's got a DP. <laughs> it's like... We do have a fireball, though. Just stick with the fireball. Fuck it. Yeah, he's got a half-screen normal and a flash kick. Good luck, I suppose. It's like, this is your problem now, just deal with it. You got me. You got me fair and square. Of the characters we're given, Zhang Fei seems like maybe the worst of the five? Like, he's got some cool stuff, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what the game expects us to do with him exactly. Guan Yu, on the other hand, has a really nice jab we can zone with. It's got a good jab, it's got a fireball. We can make those work. That shouldn't be too bad. We can actually bait the DP with a neutral jump, that's interesting. I'm not sure that does anything for us, though. Oh, word, is this where we live? Yo, he can just- he does it on wake up! Sometimes you don't even have to jump for him to do it. I see, I see. <laughs> He's got the best death rattle in the business. Oh, he didn't care. He's too smart. He don't fall for those. Guan Yu's fireball might be useful in the sense that sometimes they try to jump over it early and the, like, back end of it still hits them. Yeah, just block that. <laughs> just fuck it. Yeah, that's the best bit where they just decide to dip. I've had enough combat today. <laughs> oh, we tried something there. It didn't work out. Okay, let's um let's back that up. Let's go back to the let's go back to the start while we have all of our characters, because I feel like we don't want to lose that many characters that early, right? DOS fighting games are ruthless. What's fucked up is this isn't even the most ruthless one of the games that we have played today. There's one game we're going to take a very brief look at a little later on, and we're going to see if we can win a single round. Not even a match. We're going to see if we can win a single round in this other game we're talking about. <laughs> it's like the most fucked up game ever made. No, that's a, it's a good sign. It's a perfectly cromulent game. It's it's good. Let's try this again. It's a human style game for people, yes. It's a proper human style game. Yep. 
どいチャオユワン not too bad though We're on to this person's schemes by now. This guy doesn't even have like the, the best anti-air in the business. He's got a he's got a cool flip kick, but he's not as fond of using it as most of the other characters. That goes through fireballs. I understand. I understand. I understand. We got hit by his super and it barely did anything. That's very mysterious. Yeah, he's got that guile flip kick. It's not the only guile normal we've seen today. We've seen plenty of characters that have guile's moves today for some reason. Ooh. Oh, he's leaving. Right, let's back that up. We can't lose to Jaho Yuan. We gotta beat. We gotta at least beat the first guy without losing a guy, because we only have five characters to do seven fights with. So at least like the first one, we're gonna try not to have anybody die. Panda Entertainment. They made some other shit too. Panda Entertainment, I think, made like uh, like some board games. I think they made... <laughs> they made a Mahjong for DOS. Most of the games they made were for DOS. And a lot of them have been picked up by Super Fighter Team and re-released. E. Why is Dan Habiki next to them? What do you mean? <laughs> In the box art? You talking about the guy on the left? No, this game is from 1993. The Super Fighter Team re-release is from 2010. You can get this for free on their website. That's 100% Dan. Dan Hibiki didn't even exist yet. I don't think. Just need to find the Tanabiki of the Three Kingdoms era. If we're talking like jobbers, uh, there's Yuan Shao. Who, who's he's not great. I think Yuan Shao lost like every fight he was in. Liu Bei, despite being a fan favorite, also lost like most of the fights he was in. Yeah, Liu Bei definitely had the author of the book on his side. Well, Romance of the Three Kingdoms in general is, like, very biased towards Shu, right? Which is interesting, because they were the first ones out. It's why the Dynasty Warriors games themselves were very biased towards Shu for a long time. But I think they stopped doing that. Damn, he got us again! Yajaho yeah, Dune will maybe be the most badass of all the characters in the uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Although, I mean, if we're talking characters that are also in, like, Dynasty Warriors or whatever, you do have the bit where Zhao Yun has to carry a baby through an entire army. Uh, he's holding a baby in one arm on this horse 
He's got his spear in the other hand. He has to go through like he's got to go through like a thousand dudes to take his to take Liu Bei's kid back to him. Liu Bei just fucking left his son somewhere. Yeah, don't worry, I'll get it. Number one dad. Which game was that? Dynasty Warriors 5 has a good mission involving that story. You don't actually carry the baby in that game, though. It's just kind of implied. Yeah, no, as, as much as... As much, like, fanfare as Liu Bei is given, or and, and the Shu Kingdom in general, in, like, Dynasty Warriors media or Romance of the Three Kingdoms or whatever, fuck. Liu Bei is kind of a shithead. <laughs> He's not particularly good at his job, either. Liu Bei is a very opportunistic man who ended up teaming up with a lot of people in order to win battles. And he ended up backstabbing most of the people that he teamed up with later on. So, you know. It is weird that he's usually depicted as the good guy. He's just kind of a shitter, really. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, that is just how things were done back then. You gotta do what you gotta do in war times. It's completely understandable. Yeah, as was the style at the time. Liu Bei did have a very justified moment of anger, though, I suppose, when Guan Yu was ambushed and killed. Because the Shu and Wu kingdoms at the time had an alliance. They were teaming up to fight against Wei forces. And Guan Yu was, um... Where was he? He was at, like, a castle fighting for Wei, because he was, like, repaying them a favor. And then Wu broke the alliance, and they ambushed Guan Yu, and they killed him. Yeah, it was Fan Castle. That's probably the only, like, justified moment of Liu Bei anger. Because that one definitely wasn't his fault. <laughs> like, he actually got backstabbed for what's... Yeah, yeah, that's the... And it turned out that was the moment that did him in because everything went to shit for Shu after that moment. If anyone isn't, uh... If anyone's completely lost in this conversation, I apologize. Sir Retro, thank you for the host. I can only apologize if the words that... I and the chat room are saying are just complete gibberish to you. <laughs> I can only apologize. Another one. Oh, he's leaving, I understand. No joke. I 100% both the PS2 and 360 versions of Warriors Orochi 2. I think this game is a bit harder. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just input reading, really. Input reading is gonna be input reading. That's just kind of... Usually you just have to figure out what gets around input reading. Input reading is... It's a part of fighting games that I think would be really difficult to get rid of, at least for, like, a single-player experience. Because it's one of the easiest ways to create a sense of difficulty. I'm not saying it's a good system. But it's just kind of how fighting games were, and some of them still are like that when you're playing single-player. Input reading is just kind of something you have to expect. 
Just something. It's just something you gotta deal with. <laughs> really? like Huang Zhang's crouching kick. This, like, goofy roll slide he gets? It seems pretty good. He big on Tai Chi Chi. He had the goofy, like, sticks. He really did walk in with a Blanca ball! He didn't walk in! He just started rolling! <laughs> That's amazing. He didn't care. It's like, I'm coming in. Why are your buttons better than mine, sir? I want my money back. There we go. You learned the matchup! Well, it seems like the matchup for a lot of these is just kind of throw fireballs and hope that they work. That seems to be the primary strat. I mean, if you're not going to show up, I'm just going to build meter. Thank you. Yo, silky smooth 3 FPS. There's definitely DOS fighting games with less frame rate. We played, um, what the fuck was it? Real Fighter? Which, by the way, great name. We played Real Fighter for DOS. That game runs extremely slow. You have to turn the cycles up just to make it resemble a real fighting game. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the Sango Fighter 2 at some point today. There are other... There are other Taiwanese, DOS, ancient Chinese-themed fighting games. Which is a hyper-specific theme, I'm aware. But there are a lot of them. Are you leaving? No, he's not leaving. <laughs> okay, no, he definitely left. So it seems like if they were on their way out, and you throw them, it just counts the same as them leaving. It's not a snapback, they were just programmed to leave already. That's what happens. That's why. That's why they do that. That makes sense, I suppose. Like Sao Ren from Dynasty Warriors 8. Was he the one with the big shield, right? I think. I think he was the big shield guy. Could simply staying in the corner and jabbing be the answer with Guan Yu? Because it seems like it seems like when you have a life lead, they don't really know what to do. Because they have to approach you, and we can just kind of stick buttons out, and then that's their problem. <laughs> Now that's interesting. Notice how they're going for a DP even if I'm jumping backwards from full screen. Yeah. 
No, there's not a timer. So that means they're programmed to DP just on any jump, then. Because we were nowhere near the guy. Last time we were at Chibi, we only had one character left, so I guess we've learned something in the attempts since. That's good. Can't tell if this game is racist. What do you mean? This is a Taiwanese game. No, it probably is. Yeah, you're right. I think we can mostly agree that the racism world champion is always going to be punch out. This is an amazing strat, but it kind of works. Another one. Give me that grib. Yeah, no, that's true. Punch Out Wii does have characters speaking their own language. Tekken does that too, right? I've always thought that was cool. There's usually the criticism when games do that. It's like, well, how do they understand each other? But I think it's more important that characters that are from a region speak, like, that region's language. It doesn't matter if they don't understand each other in-game. Because people just like for their... People like for their regions to be represented. That's more important, I think. Now we're starting to get red pretty hard. <laughs> Bear hunger is a hundred percent accurate. I've never met I've never met a Canadian that was just like Bear Hugger. <laughs> Rocket understands Groot. It was to my understanding that the only reason Rocket understands Groot is because, like, they had been working together for, like, a long time. Damn, we got the jump in, but we still got grabbed afterwards. Yeah, Shaho Dune seems like the first big, like, problem character. See if we can fare better with anyone else. Yeah, Vodka Drunkenski had to be renamed to, uh. <laughs> to be renamed Soda Papinski. That's not the worst name. That's not the worst name in Punch Out. The worst name in Punch yeah. Out's Pizza Pasta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pizza Pasta is easily the most racist Punch Out character. He never did come back, did he? We never saw Pizza Pasta again. Maybe that's for the best. What a hitbox, I says!
Interesting. We never got to see him again, he got eaten by King Hippo. Now, King Hippo I kind of like. Not as a caricature of where he's from, just I think King Hippo is a pretty cool character, because he's got, like, he's the only character who had, who had like, a gimmick unique to him at the time. <laughs> I always thought that was pretty cool. Imagine if they made a if they made an American character called Hamburger Hot Dog. That would be... I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be like, you know, a fair play. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong's in the Wii one, isn't he? Yeah. Hamburger Hot Dog would probably become my favorite character too. Especially if he rolled. Especially if he rolled up to the ring on like a mobility scooter instead of walking. <laughs> Is Machow's fireball slow enough that they don't know how to jump over it correctly? Is that what we're, like, witnessing here? Because he's trying to jump over it and he's somehow still getting tagged. Like, he doesn't really know how to jump over it properly, seems to be what's going on. On toast would be a sick name. That'd be dope. I agree. I mean, sometimes he knows how to jump over it. Yeah, it seems like our best bet is just to kind of let them walk into your buttons. Just kind of let them walk into them. Because he's got to do something. If he's input reading... The tech for input reading is generally to... Let them go first? Back to Lu Boo. We haven't seen Lu Boo in a while. Let's see how this goes. Neutral wasn't invented yet. Did Sun Tzu invent neutral? Is that the lore? Is neutral in the art of war? Is that fireball an overhead? Just wondering how that fireball hit me while I was crouch blocking. That fireball might be an overhead. That's a terrifying thought. Okay, no, it's not an overhead. We just got tagged somehow. <laughs> what a hitbox! I suppose I should be thankful that he's only got one jobber and not, like, two like some of these other guys. Curiously, the super version of fireballs don't seem to do any more damage than the regular ones. I'm wondering if we can punish the heads dumb. I wonder if we have a punish for that. Yo, what's up, Shonen Sketcher? We're out here pursuing Lubu. Or yeah, there you are. Who? We've been instructed not to pursue Lubu. Actually, in this game, we were told to fight him directly. Ah, we do have a punish. Cool. 
cool. Neutral jump? Do another head stomp so I can punish it. Oh, he's leaving. He got sick of us. He's out. Maybe Ma Chow's been the answer this whole time. And we didn't realize. Maybe Ma Chow is the hero we've needed this whole time. Hey, we got him! Yeah. Tonke Tower is probably not pronounced right. It's Sao Tsao's hiding place, though he no longer has the help of his generals. You must still be careful when dealing with this cunning man. All right, let's fight Sao Tsao. He has no anti-airs, just murder him? What do you mean he has no anti-airs? You mean I can just... Uh! The question, I suppose, is how many jobbers is he about to have? He's gonna have like 5,000 jobbers to get through. Alright, so here's two. He has four? What do you mean he has four? Alright, fair enough. Oh, here he is. Yeah, walk in. Approach me, coward. If he has no anti-airs, that means we could just kind of jump at him then. Did they make Sao Sal the worst as a joke? Were they illustrating that he's nothing without his generals? Is that what they're doing? Storytelling through mechanics. There we go. Caught the slide. Your brainless Randy has no adrenaline. What a button! Damn. No, he still has anti-airs. They're not special moves, though. They're just normals. It looks like he's pretty quick to leave, too. He's pretty quick to flee the scene. You can't do anything about zoning? You got it, Captain. Here I go. Let me throw more fireballs, then. We still have three other characters, so if Ma Chow doesn't get it done, we still got... We still have Huang Zhang, right? He should fare pretty well. Oh, we can just shoot arrows at him with Huang Zhang. Alright, let's try that. <laughs> That's a good laugh. Let's try... Who do we still have? Let's try Zhang Fei. Let's learn what we can with the character we have the least... ...confidence in. Oh no, he has a fireball too, though. Zhang Fei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's get what mileage we can just out of fireballs. Let's see for sure how well he knows how to deal with them. Down forward kick is good for Zhang Fei. I don't think we... Oh, back forward. Oh, that seems pretty good. That looks like it would be a low crush if he didn't have the perfect button for it. Another one. Oh shit, it didn't reach! <laughs> I'm not sure how safe that is. It looks like it could be punished. Don't mind me, just build a meter. Cool, cool, cool. Skullgirls only had eight characters on release, yeah. I mean, it's not uncommon for a fighting game to, like, launch with a small roster. The problem is usually that people, uh, like, to some people a game has to have a big roster or it won't be, like, worth it to them. I think 8's probably fine on launch. To some people that's not enough characters, I mean, that's it's a matter of preference. I'm not gonna knock that if that's their opinion. As long as the characters that are in the game are, like, varied and interesting. I don't really think it matters how many are in it. As long as every playstyle is covered, I think it it's fine, right? That's my... that's just how I feel about it. Every game needs to have Marvel 2 levels. Marvel 2's roster is fucking strange. It's got two Wolverines in it. All right, I think we beat it. We beat Sangha. We beat. We beat it. With applause from the masses, the wow, he's in the stocks. The worst fiend of the time is sentenced to his fate. Damn, he's dead. Never could he have imagined dying here. Damn, that's fucked up. They beheaded him. As for Liu Bei and his brave fighters, they have safely returned to their kingdom. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Xiao Yun, Ma Chao. And Huang Zhang, who didn't fit on this screen, wherever they go, they receive a warm welcome. Yeah, it's got Bone Claw Wolverine. Because of the efforts of these brave fighters in the front lines of battle, Liu Bei was able to revive the royal family of Han and finish the task of uniting all of China. We're drifting into fan fiction now. From this great achievement, the Han Dynasty enjoyed a period of peace and happiness. And an end to corruption. None of this happened. Liu Bei didn't unite shit, actually. <laughs> That's okay. We've dr we drifted into fan fiction at the end there. Yeah, imagine Liu Bei being the one to end the corruption and uniting the Han Dynasty. That's not how I remember it. That's okay. <laughs> so anyways, here you are fighting this large enemy crab. This giant enemy crab. Genji is based on real Japanese history. Anyway, here's this giant enemy crab for you to fight. You have to attack its weak point for massive damage. Is Liu Bei a joke? No, I don't think he is a joke. Like he's, like Liu Bei is fine. I don't think he's so incompetent as to be a joke. But he is usually portrayed as the good guy when his actions don't exactly match that. But that's fine. That's neither here nor there, and frankly, that's a matter of opinion anyway. <laughs> we did it! That took two and a half hours to beat! 
That's about how long it takes to overcome input reading. It takes about two and a half hours. Yeah, that makes sense. No, there's multiple tracks in the game, Papa Trucks. Well done, Turner. What about Lubu? We fought Lubu. He was before it's out, so. He had a he had like a Ryu stance. Two and a half hours that took. It was only seven fights, but somehow the input reading was so strong, it took two and a half hours to beat. I mean, that's just that's how fighting game streams go, though. Sometimes fighting game AI is fucked up, and you just gotta you just gotta get cooked. There's no way around it. That's okay, though. Wouldn't it be crazy if this game got remade for modern PCs and also had an arranged combat mode you could use? Hot diggity dog. Could you imagine if only Kamekaze Bish had remade Sango Fighter 1 with the approval of the original author? We're actually just... We're, we're, I'm, the segue I'm making here is that Kame actually did do that. That's actually a thing that happened. Is that available to play, Kame? Is that available, like, right now? I mean, I'm not doing that today. But is that available? Is what I'm asking. Because <laughs> Kame did do that. Yeah, I'm shilling the shit out of Kame's shit. Of course I am. When it's live, it'll be on superfighter.com. Alright, you got it. TBD. To be determined. What are we doing in the meantime? Let's play something even less civilized. Sango Fighter uh, is a pretty civilized game compared to what we're about to check out. We're about to check out an extremely dank game called Feng Xin Bang, which is based on uh, which is based on Feng Xin Bang, which is like a Chinese epic novel based on Chinese mythology. Absolutely no relation to NES bootleg RPG Feng Shen Bang. Same title, not related at all. This is made by Dyson Information, who I'm not sure if they made any other games. Maybe they did. I'll tell you what this game reminds me of. This game reminds me of Dragon Ball Z Super Butoden. Because when you back up far enough, the game goes into, like, a split screen. And there are, uh... Good sound effects. Alright, hold on. Let me just pick one character real quick. We went to two-player mode, not one-player mode. No, I still went to two-player mode. Or I went to one-player. I thought I went to two-player. Hold on, let's back this up. I'm gonna back this up. I gotta go to two-player mode. I gotta show you something. I gotta show you how the game reads inputs in single player. Or it, uh, it reads inputs perfectly in, like, multiplayer mode, but not when you're fighting somebody. Because I think the frame rate of the game munches your own inputs. I think that's what happens. Yeah, the intro's way too fast! It's on 3,000 cycles, too. What if we turn down the cycles to make it slower? That might not solve our problem, that might make it worse. I put it down to 2,000 cycles. We might have amplified our problem, if anything. I'm pick this guy. There we go, there's a fireball. Note that when you back up... And you can also go <laughs> into the air and you get this, like, old Dragon Ball Z fighting game split screen. <laughs> The only catch is, once we're up here, I don't know how to get back down. I'm not sure you can. I think that's just where we live. I'm just gonna keep shooting these at you. I'm just gonna keep shooting these at you, because this is the only move I know. This is the only move I've ever learned. I'm gonna shoot- I'm gonna shoot pagodas at you or some shit. Yeah, we have a pagoda projectile. The thing about this game is it's nearly impossible to win any round. Because the fireballs can't really be jumped over. You can try to jump over them, you'll get hit anyway, right? So whoever just gets fireballs out faster is who wins. That's just kind of how the game goes. <laughs> it's really fucking funny. It's like the most impossible game. Because you can't jump over fireballs, you just get hit. 
<laughs> There's a jump, but it doesn't even matter. It's just who can throw more fireballs out. We can't jump over anything. Oh, we got over one right into an anti-air, and then we died. <laughs> yeah, the fireballs don't clash. And what's worse, if you get hit by a fireball, you get stuck in, like, hits done for a longer time than it looks. So you can't even... <laughs> you can't, like, get out. If they if they loop their fireballs well enough, you just can't. You just can't get out. And you're just stuck there. So the only hope you have is to somehow out-fireball them. Which is a tall order. You cer Blocking certainly doesn't help much, either. Alright, fair enough. That's how this game usually goes. This is the game I was talking about when I'm like, we're gonna try to win one round. If we can win a single round in Feng Shen Bang, it is a success. So let me win one round. That's all I want, baby. Our fireball input is back and then down and then punch. But sometimes the game doesn't give it to us. I think we have to deliberately input it like really, really slow. No, you know what it is? I think we have to let go of down before we do it. Like, we have to press back and then down. But I think we have to return to neutral before it gives us the fireball. Like, you can't just do it really quick. Sorry, we're gonna win one round. That's all I want. <laughs> back neutral. No, it's back down neutral, I think. It's back down punch for the fireball. It's worth mentioning, by the way. If you have a keyboard in front of you, you can look at your keyboard. So, WASD are what you'd expect them to be. WASD are normal. W is your jump. But you'd think that D and W together would make you jump forward. No. E is the jump forward button. Q is jump backwards. And... Shift and tab, which e, are to the left e, of those buttons. E, Shift and tab are punch and e, kick, respectively. E, so you're moving with your right hand. E, and you have to punch e, and kick with your left hand. These are the this is the control setup that this game has yeah, decided. That makes sense. <laughs> e, 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 yeah, I couldn't tell you why. Yeah, That's just that how it is. Sense. Oh shit, we're shooting pagodas at each other! E. Can I jump over one? Eh. Oh, I'm going in. What if I just run in? I'm sorry? Round two? Did he win the round? Did he do an entire life bar and I wasn't looking? Is he just that damn good? He might be. I did it. I did it. I shot one pagoda. Yeah, that makes sense. The frame rate it's moving at makes getting any moves out pretty difficult. I'm trying to shoot. I'm, we're the one on the right side of the screen right now, and we're trying. We're trying desperately to throw a fireball. There we go. I'll tell you what it looks like has happened here. Ever since we switched sides. It looks like they don't know how to fireball from the left side. I think they might only be programmed to fireball from the right side. <laughs> I think we've confused them by switching sides. And if that's the case, this is the greatest game ever made. He doesn't know what to do. We figured it out, gamers. We did it. We're gonna win a match. Yeah, yo, can I have the 2P side? My fireballs are much more consistent on the 2P side. Note that every fireball in the game tracks, by the way. So if they were to, like, jump into the air... It'll just follow them up there. Use your spirit bomb, man, Chong, or whatever. I, I won a match. Okay, so here's the new tech. New tech, 
Immediately take the second. Immediately take the two piece side. That's the tech. Got it. Got it. Understood. I wonder if I can crank the cycles up. Hold on. Eh, eh, eh. Crank the cycles, baby. I'm gonna make it run faster by fucking around with cycles. Let's put it at like 5,000 cycles. Oh, he's throwing fireballs again! Does he only know how to throw fireballs at certain speeds? Because when it was running at less cycles, he didn't know how to do them. Could it be... Could it be frame rate dependent? Ah! Maybe, we'll, maybe we have it running too fast. Hold on, let me turn that back down a little bit. Because <laughs> the game doesn't work if... The game doesn't work if it's going too fast. Ah. I did it. I threw a fireball. I couldn't tell you why it's so difficult to throw a fireball. All I can tell you is that DOS fighting games are a special breed. Yo, look at this combo! We're stuck in hit stun, by the way, during that. We don't have a hit stun animation. Your hit stun animation is just your, like, neutral standing animation. So when you're stuck in a combo, it'll look like you're just standing there and none of your buttons work. It's one of the features of this game. Is you can't tell when you're in hit stun because you're you've got no animation for that. <laughs> oh shit, we're taking rounds now. We just gotta we just gotta take the two we gotta take the two P side immediately. That's the only way. And we gotta just shoot pagodas from 2P side. That's the only way to win? I understand. That's just how this game is played. I wonder if it has an ending. I wonder. I wonder if they programmed an ending in at all. It might not have one. It might just say the end. It's Mr. Peck! Thank you for the rain! Wait, no. Wait, no. Let me get 2P side. Let me get a 2P side. What? Thank you. Thank you, miss. Oh no, she still has the advantage. Damn it. Thank you so much, Mr. Peck. What were we all up to? We're, uh... We're playing Violent Myth. Feng Bong for DOS roughly translates to Violent Myth. We're getting regular jabs instead of fireballs. You'd think back down punch wouldn't be so hard to do. And yet somehow, most of the time the game doesn't give you a fireball for this very simple input. It's just like, it just don't. You get nothing. Good day, sir. <laughs> You're winning an online Skullgirls tournament? Good shit. The game we're playing is a lot like Skullgirls, if you, like, squint really hard. If you squint incredibly hard, it looks just like Skullgirls. It plays a lot like it, too. Okay, so it didn't put us back at our previous opponent. What I think this means... Oh, we're stuck in a combo, by the way. <laughs> That's an infinite. There was nothing we could do about that. We just got stuck in it. <laughs> What I think that means is that you only have one credit to do the whole arcade mode. I think that's what they mean. Because it put us back at, like, the start against the same guy we're playing as. So I don't even think you get credits. I, th <laughs> I think you're expected to try to just clear it in one shot. How hard could that be? This is single player. I know this is single player. What's this one? This is, like, two player mode, yeah? Ain't it? What's this character got? Okay, yeah, that's two player mode. Do you have a single move? Do you have a do you have a do you have a move? Let's try to find a move. I'm gonna find a move with this character. We're gonna find one move. Yeah, that makes sense. We saw him doing moves earlier. The usual suspects do not seem to produce a fireball of any description. Yeah, he's got the Ryu stance! Art the menu sound effects from a DBZ game. So is the gameplay, generally. Because if we back up far enough, we get the split screen. We can also super jump into the air. It's very... It's very, uh, super butoden. 
<laughs> I'm actually not sure how to get back down once you're up, though. You'd think you'd just, like, mash down or press, like, up, down or something. It's unclear. Yeah, it's a Super Putoden ROM hack, more or less. Only it's been made to be, like, impossible. I don't think he's got any moves. He's got, he's got, we got no moves, Captain. We don't got a single, unless he's a charge character. I don't think he's a charge character. It was just shoulder button. There ain't no shoulder buttons. This is a two button game. Hold on, you got it. Hold on, you got it. Let me fuck with that. Let me fuck with my diagonals. I can do that. We got a backflip. Yeah, the fireballs have no, like, indication that they've went across the screen. Churn butter on a keyboard? All right, you got it. Here I go. I'm gonna churn. I'm gonna churn on my keyboard. It's gonna sound really good. MK inputs is what we've been doing, because that's how DOS fighting games work. That's the first thing we tried, I assure you. I don't think we got any moves. The only, the only character we got to do a move with was the guy who shoots pagodas. Yeah, we definitely don't got 360 commands. I don't even think the game has, like, down back. We've got D. Hold on. Yeah, just check the FAQ. I don't think this game has an FAQ. That's okay. <laughs> Am I all tapping correctly? <laughs> That's not a thing. Not a thing. Finally, the FAQs for Violent Myth. No, I won a round. That's all I was after. We had to win one round in Feng Shenbang. That's all we had to do. That's all I set out to do. Let's check out some more shit. We have to play... Ooh. Ooh, what are we checking out next? Hold on. Let's take a look at... We're gonna play Jin Yang Guida. Probably pronounced that all kinds of wrong. We're playing Jin Yang Fighter for DOS. This came out in 1994. Pretty much everything that came out after Sango Fighter was like very clearly inspired by Sango Fighter. This is copy protection that has been cracked for us to get past. Here's our menu. This menu reminds me of. Violent Vengeance, the universe hero, quite a lot. What are my buttons? This is probably one player, two player. Are you options? Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Oh, I'm scared. What's over here? Okay, these are my buttons. So I have four diagonals. We have WASD. Uh, Q, <laughs> Q, E, A, and C are our diagonals. Okay, I can make this work. And then J and K are punch and kick. That's that's more comfortable than the last game was. I can make that work. That sort of works. WASD, and then the diagonals around it, and then J and K. That's actually kind of reasonable. I don't mind that. Yeah, junch and kick. J and K. Tempted to pick John Headband, if I'm being honest with you. This guy looks pretty cool. Where have I seen this sprite before? I've seen this sprite before. I can't place it for some reason. Oh, that is from Final Fight 2! Yeah, you're right! <laughs> it's Carlos, that's what it is. I'm like, where the fuck? I know I've seen this sprite before. <laughs> I couldn't place it. This guy looks pretty good. Real, real ancient Chinese biker guy right here. That's good. With the shredded vest. Nah, give me John Headband. Where'd John Headband go? That'll do. I'm in. I'm in. What the fuck? Eh. Eh. It's fine. It's fine. It's under control. 
Ugh. Am I winning? Am I winning? Am I losing? It's unclear. This frame rate's pretty good. The <laughs> shaky cam fighting game. What do you mean? Did he just hit me for... Did he just hit me for like 90%? Damn, that was fucked up. Hold on, let's crank up the cycles a bit. Let's put it on like 5,000 cycles? That might help. It might help, it might actually make it worse. Let's see. That more closely resembles a fighting game now. He's got a move that does about 90% it looks like. He's got a move that does a very high amount of damage. This is our game over screen. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the game up because it's a little quiet. Turn that up a little bit. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that shit took off half our health bar. DOS games are... DOS fighting games are a lawless wasteland. I expect nothing less, to be honest with you. Ooh, kind of jamming to this music. It's goofy-ass, like, MIDI music. What did I just do? Oh! Wait a minute, I found... Okay, so if I just hold down and back... If I hold down and back and I press punch, I just rotate? Oh! Uh, I'm just holding... Okay, so I just hold A and S, and I press punch, and he just spins. And it does 50%. I'm glad I picked John Headband, because I think we all- I think we have a strat here. Another one. Was that a throw?! I'm out of here. I'm being harassed by the wildlife. Yeah, she's fighting with the butterflies. You gotta watch out for, like, butterfly Oki. No, it's alright, I'm just gonna spin. I figured it out, just spin. I'm gonna solve my problems via, via bodily rotation. What do you mean she has lightning?! That did so much damage! Ah! This game might be a little fucked up, y'all. This game might be... This game might be a little uncivilized. <laughs> Hold on, what if we pick her, though? What if I pick that character? I think I mashed and I got the old man. What if I pick her? Can we just use the... Can we just use the fucked up butterflies? That's what I want. Where are you going, sir? Was that a grab? I understand. I understand. This game has very mysterious physics. That's okay. The, mis the, the physics are mysterious. Was that down forward kick? What did he just do? Whoa! Okay, so it's not the same kind of input. It looked like it looks like that move in particular had like a Mortal Kombat style motion. I think I hit like down, back, and kick, and then we got this move. This crazy like jump across the screen move. <laughs> oh, it's a simultaneous input. You have to simultaneously press down and back and the kick button to do this move. Although it doesn't seem that useful from anywhere other than full screen. Yeah, this is like specifically... This is like specifically a full screen move. It doesn't work from anywhere else. 
got him! Well, that means we know how to spin better. That means we can more reliably spin with John Headband. I kind of want to pick the Butterfly Girl, though, because I think that, that... I get the feeling that character's fucked up. What was that juggle?! What do you mean, that juggle? Hold on. Hold on. This game might be dope. <laughs> Good death rattle. Oh no, she's back. So yeah, no, this game was developed by, uh, Soft World International, another Taiwanese game developer. I think they mostly do, like, MMOs now? I think they're still around, Soft World. The game is loosely based on... The, uh, <laughs> the game is loosely based on the novels of real-life novelist Zha Liang Yang, or just, he's known by his, his pen name, Jin Yang. Playing Jin Yang Fighter, this game is loosely based on things he has written. Yeah, we got three FPS. Would you believe we turned up the FPS? This was running at about 3,000 cycles. We've put it up to 5,000 cycles, so it's running faster than before. This game has a very... The lightning still came out even though we interrupted her! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Why would I be bothered? You know what, I take it back. This old man might be good. This old man might be a good character for this. Was that a teleport? Was that a fucking teleport? Did I just tech a throw? It's unclear. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat room. I'm not convinced this game has, like, blocking in it. Hokutomaru? Hokutomaru from Garo, Mark of the Wolves. He stole that move from this character. I'm convinced. He stole that. Ah, oh, you got me. You got me fair and square. Hold on, we have to try the butterfly lady. I want to throw butterflies at people. Yeah, I don't think this game has blocking. That's okay. We don't need blocking anyway where we're going. Where's your lightning move? There's the butterflies! Yeah! Bully him! Alright, I got got. I got got. It looks like down back kick summons the butterflies. We have to find the lightning, too. I think if we find both of those moves, we'll be alright. A oh, word? I have an idea. I have an idea because it seems like the butterflies cancel into itself. It seems like that move cancels into itself. So I think we can just. I think we can just mash that. Oh, god damn it, it gave me the old man again. Let's reboot that. Eh, 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 eh. Copy, protection. I gotta pump the cycles back up. Run it at 5,000 cycles, not 3,000. Lest it go even slower. You. Yeah, it looks like you can just do that move whenever, pretty much. Not in the air, of course. The bouncer. Looking for the looking for the lightning move. It's not on any of the usual inputs so far. We've only found butterflies. Yeah, yeah, so 
<laughs> what was that voice clip? Maybe the thunderbolt is teleport? I mean, like... <laughs> oh, charge button. Hold on. Can I just hold this down? I can, but it doesn't actually hit them if I hold it down. It looks like the game has auto-fire as well. If I just hold an attack button down, you keep attacking. This sweep looks pretty obnoxious. Is this Nooch? Is this Nooch? Look at that Nooch. You don't got the answers. Alright, you got the answers. I was kidding. I was just kidding. I was joking. It was a- it was a- it was a- it was a, it was a prank, bro. Alright, we're going back to John Headband. This is the way. <laughs> If there's a very clear Final Fight 2 sprite in this game, it makes me wonder... It makes me wonder what... the rest of the sprites were, like, taken from. Because they must have been taken from somewhere. A lot of them. Yeah, the old beard man's pretty good, too. If not the old man, then this guy is probably our best bet. Unless someone has an even more fucked up move out there. This combo's into itself! When you get a- wait. When you get a knockdown with that spin, you can hit them when they're recovering with another one. This beach stage looks sick. Yo, there's lightning! That's a good lightning effect. Ooh. This is a cool stage. I like this stage a lot. Yeah, his weird ice boulder move. Thank you for just falling for that. We have the tech. We have the tech to beat this game. We just have to do it. This fucking guy. I don't know what the tech is for this guy, though. <laughs> what did he just do? Nice. Nice, nice. A prank. You playing jokes and were over here playing chess. Because the game of chess is like a sword fight. You must think first before you move. I will never think before I move. Absolutely not. Thank you, Ghost Hall, for the 100 chesses. Is the plural of chess chesses, or is it just chess? What have you come back to? We're playing Jin Yong Kuaida, a Taiwanese DOS fighting game. Based on the novels of real-life author Jin Yong. Hey, we got him. I still don't like our odds against this character. This this character seems like a... Oh, maybe? Maybe we'll be okay? Can we do that for another round? Hold on. No, leave me alone. No, leave me alone! Is the input... Okay, hear me out. When we switch sides, the input for the move does not seem to flip. It seems as if A and S together, down, left, and punch. It seems like even if you switch sides, the input for this move is still down and left. Not down and back, just down, left. That's how it is? Okay, I understand. We're playing a lawless game. We're playing a video game created by humans on the planet Earth. And this is just how they were. Got it. Understood. Yeah, that makes sense. Who dares? Puncher Boxer! Thank you for the five whole years, Puncher Boxer. 
Welcome to Jin Yang Fighter. We're playing the, the greatest game, the most civilized fighting game ever made. Can you feel how civil it is? How civilized this video game is? DOS fighting games are among the most civilized of all the fighting games. They famously work. <laughs> what was that?! Famously, these games have no flaws whatsoever. Nice, nice, nice. Look at the shadows on the wall by those sprites. <laughs> they actually put, like, good lighting shadows on the sprites in the background. Why is there a dead guy back there? We're not gonna address the dead guy? It's fine. I guess it's not important. Yeah, he's extra dead. Knockback in this game just seems to have a random direction. I, sometimes they go forward, sometimes they go backwards. I can't seem to locate the rhyme or reason to it. This cool split kick. Will I consider myself a Jin Yang master? No, absolutely not. I'm fighting for my life out here. Yeah, all the stages in this game look really good. Oh no, it's Carlos from Final Fight! A lot of the stages are animated too, which is great. This doesn't seem to hit this character as hard as the rest of them. Which is interesting. <laughs> they had to repeat the death rattle because we got juggled. So I think it just had to repeat the sound. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Simon? We're out here playing Jin Yang Fighter! We're playing incredibly civilized DOS fighting games. Did that auto-correct, that jump attack I did? I think we tried to jump past him with it and it auto-corrected. Let me guess. Let me guess we only get one credit? Of course we do. Got it, understood. We have a strat, though. We have a strat! Who did we see that had a fucked up move? Although I suppose we wouldn't know how to do them anyway. This character had a fucked up move. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, did I go to two-player mode on accident? Maybe I can lab it then. Maybe we can lab it real quick. What the fuck is this button? Damn, Biken stole this. I understand. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna find the move. I'm gonna find this move. Yeah, this game's got some frames. It's got a frame or two. So those are jump attacks. Those, these are all... It looks like we can instant air jump attack. <laughs> Which is kind of nice. Yeah, please, sir, spare a frame. The usual suspect move inputs don't seem to bear any fruit. That's a, that's a throw. Is that just... Okay, that's just a normal throw. Down, up, don't do anything. Back, forward, don't do anything. Forward, back, don't do anything. 
quarter circles don't seem to do anything. The only consistent move input that's done anything is down back plus punch or kick. Because down back punch gives us this, and down back kick gives us this. That's the only input thus far that has consistently produced a move. But presumably, there's more, because we've seen enemies do more than just that. This is a good menu. The thumbs up menu! What about punch and kick together? You got it. Hold on. Let's try that. Hold on, I'm in the lab. We're in the lab. Punch and kick together. Alright, that don't seem to do. That don't seem to do. So this is down back kick. Which just seems to work with everyone. If this ain't the most... If this ain't the most, like... DOS point-and-click-ass music I've ever heard. Oh, is it from Dragon Ball? Is this just stolen from a, from a Super Boot Toten game? That checks out, too. That, ch that also checks out. Yeah, it's like the King's Quest stage. Is Piccolo's theme? That's what happened, man. There's a lot of stolen things in Taiwanese games back in the day. That's just how it's how it be. Okay, let's back that up. Let's back that up. Let's try. What do we got? What does this guy do? Is he the guy that turns into a? No, that's you. They have a very similar sprite. Slightly different hand position. Hold on, what's the old man got? I understand. Damn, old man's got hands. Hold on. Old man seems pretty alright. What's this? We're playing Jin Yong Fighter! <laughs> Why, what's the problem? <laughs> this old guy's been in Salty Bay! I shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't be surprised. A fighting game... I mean, every fighting game character from every fighting game has probably been in Salty Bed at some point. Or at least on in, in some some sort of Mugen build. The butterflies are still a problem. But we can make we can get around that. Yeah, the lightning attack. We never found out how to do that, that lady's lightning attack. Or we'd be picking her right now. Because it seems like one of the dopest moves in the game. Why does this jab go so far? Why does crouching punch go that far? Seems like we almost don't even need special moves if we just kind of... We just kind of do this across the screen. What are they going to do about it? Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. You got... Yo, they're spinning! They're spinning! We got outspun! We need to spin more. We have to spin more aggressively. <laughs> Is that Moses? Yeah. That all juggled. This game has a very loose juggle system, it seems. Seems like in situations that produce a juggle state, you can just kind of hit them with whatever and then you can just re-juggle.
but we would need to properly identify which moves create that juggle state. Alright, hold on. Hold on, we're still in the lab here. <laughs> What do you have? What do you do, sir? He's got a Tatsu! Yes! Alright. Alright, he's got a Tatsu. I think we can make this work. It's worth mentioning the Tatsu's performed with the kick button, or not the kick button, the punch button. Like, down back punch produces a Tatsu, and down back kick does a completely different move. <laughs> nice throw! A word? Oh, hold on. Okay, no, I thought I had a throw loop. Thought we had throw loops going on. <laughs> I was about to just keep throwing, but I don't think they let you. Excuse me? This my crouching punch? Yeah, this is a button. That's a button. It's kind of like Fei Long's, but he gets even lower. You know, definitely don't encourage Street Fighter inputs on DOS. They won't work so well. You're best off sticking to cardinal directions being <laughs> how the moves are performed. For the most part, that's true of all these games we've played so far. It's usually just like down, back, and then press a button, or back, forward, forward, down, things like that. Yeah, DOS pretzel motions, that'll never be a thing. Could you imagine? That'd be the most fucked up shit. Strangely enough, the best bet we have is, uh, is this guy. Is the first guy we went with. He's still the one we have probably the best chance with. If only because this move is so absurd. You can pretzel. You can do a pretzel motion on keyboard. I can't. I can't do anything on keyboard. I'll tell you what I've seen before. I've seen a, uh... I've seen a fucking Street Fighter 4 tournament. Someone was playing El Fuerte. Someone was playing El Fuerte on keyboard. They're out here doing, like, run-stop fierce on keyboard. <laughs> I was looking at him trying to comprehend how he's doing this. Alright, we got got. That's a pretty good typo. Tis East instead of It's Easy. Somehow you've produced an entire... You, you produced a different sentence entirely, and it's still valid. Damn, we got cooked. You've seen people play using a Guitar Hero guitar... Fighting games on Guitar Hero guitar? I suppose it's not any stranger than people beating Dark Souls using a bunch of bananas hooked up to wires. Someone's probably beaten a game using the Donkey Kong bongos that weren't supposed to be played on the Donkey Kong bongos. That's probably a thing, yeah. I'm sorry? Excuse me? 
What is this move we've just stumbled upon? We found a pretty good move. Let's see how far it gets us. So that move does flip. The input for that move, unlike the other move, that move does the motion flips when you switch sides, but the other moves didn't. So that means that's character specific, which is even stranger. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, we found some sort of a strat. It seems like it has some amount of iframes. I don't think it's completely on startup, though. I think he only has iframes once he has, like, dematerialized. Or maybe not iframes, but armor, because we're still taking damage while flying across the screen. But it seems like our attack doesn't stop, so I guess it's just armor. Just gonna fly across the screen. What are you gonna do about it, sir? Jesus Christ. I don't even know if this game has blocking, so I don't know if you can block that. Like, I'm not convinced you can block in this game. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. Yo, the butterfly stopped me! Oh, you can stop it. There are answers to it. It is a pretty good tune. I'm digging this, like, pond stage with the ducks in the background. We got birds. We found the speedrun character. This is definitely the speedrun character. Who's trying to speedrun Jin Yong Kuaida? Yo, look at that bare ass bear back there! Another one. This character seems pretty alright. Did that just do like a- did that just do a hundred percent? Did he just die? Did he just... <laughs> did he just melt? I understand. Fighting games are wild, y'all. We should be thankful that fighting games make some amount of sense these days. Because fighting games back then, they had absolutely no rules whatsoever. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> This isn't even like a boss character, this is a normal guy. Melty Blood is a character like this. I miss Honest Mids, Michael. I know he's still in Type Lumina, but he's not the same. Hi, 
That's not my honest mids, Michael. That's a different one. Okay, so if you hit them correctly with that, it just does 100%. You have to do a college exam that requires a lockdown browser. Best of luck. Godspeed, Stray Cat. You're gonna nail it. You're gonna ace. You're gonna ace that college exam. I believe in you. One CC your college exams. Go handle that. It really does a hundred percent. As the first move I did, and he just died. I understand. What is this juggle? Oh damn, he's good! Ugh. Yeah, the casual one-shot! John Headband's the only character that can beat him. Did you? He's got his own armor, do you see that? He armored through our move with his own armor move. Damn, he's good! That's our highest score so far, though. Let's see if we can't actually, like, beat the game. We might be able to. There's a couple characters that we'll have trouble with, but I think if we just get past them, I think the rest of the run should be fine. There's only a few, like, problem characters that threaten this guy. What the hell is this? What do you mean? We're playing a perfectly normal fighting game. You've never played Jin Yong Kuaida for DOS? It's one of the games ever. Okay, so I've worked out... Here's what I've worked out in the course of that round. Even though the input of the move flips when you switch sides, unlike some other moves that don't flip sides, this move, it, like, the input can get eaten sometimes, and you'll just get, like, a regular punch. That might be because we're running it at 5,000 cycles. Maybe if it was running at less cycles, it wouldn't happen? I'm not sure. But it's way too slow at the 3,000 cycles it started as. <laughs> Did that move just nearly one hit kill him? Uh, yeah. I don't see the problem. This seems perfectly fine. Frankly, he needs that. From what I've seen? Now, usually when I say he needs it, it's j I'm joking, right? But in this game, I think we actually do need it. Like, we need that. You only get one credit anyway. <laughs> you might as well do the cheapest thing you have. At least Sango Fighter gives you five credits in the sense that you have five characters. You only get one in this game, so if you don't immediately go to your best shit, you might just die and then it's GG's. I love that it just goes right through things. Oh, yeah, there is a block. We can block. Nobody seems to block this move, though, so maybe it's unblockable. Yeah, one credit is a... I mean, one credit's kind of how a lot of old fighting games did it. Arcade ones notwithstanding, a lot of arcade games let you put more money into the machine, but there's a few... There's a decent amount of old fighting games where you just don't get more than one credit, so it's just... Just figure out how to play. Just get good, idiot, stupid, dummy. <laughs> most of the... most of the ones we're talking about, like that, happen to be DOS. It is a ruthless platform for fighting games, but it's also a very interesting one. Because DOS has some of the least civilized fighting games ever made.
Alright, we're past one of the problem characters. I have played One Must Fall. I had a lot of requests to play One Must Fall before I had played it. And I hadn't played One Must Fall prior to me streaming it. And what I what I figured out is... Yeah, no, there's a reason a lot of people told me to play One Must Fall, because that game is like... That game's fucking sick. That game's dope as fuck. It plays so good. It controls so smooth compared to everything else on the platform. Like, it's got the most competent control of any DOS fighting game I've played. You might know everything I'm going to do, but that's not gonna help you! Because I know everything you're going to do! Strange, isn't it? Damn, he's pretty good, though. <laughs> Real grandpa gamers will remember grinding. <laughs> grinding and Sango Fighter. Sango Fighter, we had some trouble with that one. Okay, so this character is a problem, even against ourselves. That's alright. The good news about this game is it's really easy to, like, do attempts to beat this game because fights... Every stage of this game goes so quick. You can you can beat an opponent in like 20 seconds before you're on to the next one. So it's really not that bad to try and actually beat it. If you lose, it's like, eh. I can get back to where I was in like five minutes. <laughs> These matches are so short. Yeah, dive kick levels of match time. It might as well be first one to land a hit, because that's how the damage works. We just need to be able to get away with our nonsense. We just need to have a run where our nonsense is permitted, instead of them having the answers. Because when they have the answers, we don't have the answers to their answers. If that makes any sense. Yeah, the stages look great in this game. The music I've heard is pretty good too, although probably a lot of it is stolen. Apparently some Dragon Ball Super Butoden music is stolen in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if other tracks are from elsewhere. There's a final fight sprite, uh, there's a final fight, like, <laughs> redraw for one of the characters. Some of these character designs might be from other things as well. The stages, I'm pretty sure, are original to this game, though, and those look fantastic. Like, it's so easy to tear ass through arcade mode that I'm, I don't even... I don't mind. I don't mind having to start from the beginning. It's not even a big deal. I did a hundred percent, is what that did. And we thought spinning was the best move we were gonna have. We thought that the- we thought John Headband's goofy spin move was the best it was gonna get. We had no idea. Yeah, Carlos from Final Fight 2 is, uh, he's just in this game. His name's not Carlos in this, I'm sure. But he's here. This is one of the problem characters. Her butterflies and lightning. Well, her lightning specifically can stop our good move. So we have to just kind of hope that it don't... We gotta hope she don't do that. We got stopped by the butterflies! How dare you! Eh. Huh. <laughs> the lightning stayed active after we hit her.
No, 90% seems fine. I don't see the problem. Frankly, I think more games need moves that just do 90% for no reason. <laughs> Mom wouldn't let me get time slaughter, but she got me this. I mean, given the choice between time slaughter and this game, I'm not sure if I would so readily choose time slaughter. Me personally? Time slaughter's cool, though. I got no beef with it. But there is something charming about how lawless of a wasteland this game is. Alright, Carlos. Cool super joy. Yeah, Time Slaughter's fine. I got no problem with Time Slaughter. What I think we're going to play next Fight Game Friday... Actually, I don't even know if next week we can do Fight Game Friday. Because next week's gonna have, like, probably Fight Game Monday and or Fight Game Wednesday. Whenever we get to another Fight Game Friday, I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna play Weapon Lord, because the frequency with which I get asked to play Weapon Lord is startling. So I guess we'll finally get around to that. We'll find some other things vaguely like Weapon Lord to play. Yeah, we got him, just barely. That was a close one. Pong combat? I remember motor combat. <laughs> motor combat, that's the good shit. Certain moves that they have also just appear to have armor. This character in particular doesn't seem to take as much damage from our fly across the screen move. I suspect there's something about their hitbox that's different from every or their hurt box that's different from everyone else's. Where it just causes them to not get hit as much. Whereas some characters just kinda get shredded by it in two seconds. Yeah, they never did another... They never did another incredibly silly, like, Mortal Kombat minigame. The PS2 era had tons of it, because you had chess combat, you had the motor combat, there's puzzle combat, yeah, there was a, there was a bunch of weird shit, and they never really went back to the, that concept of making just goofy minigames for the hell of it. I guess it's fine. There's probably a DC or Marvel superhero that's doing what our guy is doing. Probably. Who can go through? Who can go through things? Rogue. Rogue didn't go through walls. Which X Men went through walls? Which X Man did that? Kitty Pride. Thank you. That's what it was. I don't know why I was thinking Rogue for some reason. Stacking death cries. He sounds like uh <laughs> he, he sounds like the guy in breakers when he dies. <laughs> the guy in breakers just goes, no! <laughs> This is the best one. 
<laughs> hey, we did it! I guess we beat the game. We beat everyone. There's no ending, I guess. Just a high score screen and a good job. We did it. Well done, Turner. Well done, Turner. The sweet score screen of victory. No ending, just you're well done. done you did it. Oh, I get to put in a name. J. Well done, Turner. J, 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 K, J. I'm just gonna hit punch and kick. Well done, Turner. Oh, there is an ending! We did it! It was after! Nice drawing. Well done, Turner. Oh, the ending's karaoke? Are these lyrics? I can't read them, unfortunately. Yeah, that feels good. We beat Jin Yong Kuaida! What an absolutely barbaric fighting game. Just one of the most barbaric games I've ever seen. It worked out, though. Alright. Let's play. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me think, let me think. How about we have a look-see at... I definitely can't pronounce that. I can't pronounce any of that. Yeah, it's one of the fighting games you've ever... It's one of the fighting games I've ever seen. Let's take a look at... Feng Yun Tian Sha Seng Guo Pian... I probably pronounced that whole thing wrong. This roughly translates to Stormy World colon Three Kingdoms. Yeah, it's just a dude's back. It was close? Alright, that's good enough for me. This game was also made by Soft World International. Tunsha? Oh. I learned something today. This was made in 1995. This was well after Sango Fighter. Nonetheless, still inspired by it. This says, uh, this game has like 10 characters in it from the Three Kingdoms era. I don't think I'd be able to identify any of them, though. I don't think they're spelled out in English. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, let me figure out my buttons. Let's find options first. Are you options? Which one? What, what button goes? That was not options. All right. This is like two-player mode I just went to. Ooh, hold on. Jams? Hold on. It's got a load, I suspect. It's loading, don't worry. Yo, this stage looks sick! Oh, we gotta turn these cycles up. Alright, cycles ahoy! Where are we at? Eh? Eh? That's about right. Yo, Trap! Thank you for the raid! We're playing some, uh, we're playing some DOS Three Kingdoms. Or just, like, uh, ancient Chinese-themed fighting games. Let me find my buttons. We've got WASD. No, we don't have WASD. We have WAXD. WAXD for movement. Where is punch and kick? Okay, tab is punch. Tab is punch. Where is... What do you mean caps lock is a button? What do you mean caps lock... I understand. So we have WAXD and we have caps lock. WAXD tab caps lock. Those are our buttons. Sure. Why not? That seems fine. No further questions, Your Honor. Can I fix those? Can I move these around? Oh, is this is this keyboard or is this keyboard controller, I wonder? Hold on. I don't know what I don't know what this is. We might we might break everything by doing that. That might be controller. All right, let's go back to the lab then. <gasps> the controller works now. I did it. All done. 
Okay, that's Guan Yu for sure. There's not a chance in hell that's not Guan Yu. Who is John Headband? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I have a controller. I have a controller that works. This is good enough for me. I found the go backwards button. Yeah, we can't read these menus, but somehow I got my shit working. Okay, so... Arrow keys are controlling this. What is the confirm button? What is confirm for player two? Because I'm just trying to get... Ah, there we go. Yeah, let me get back in, and then we'll find out our controller button so that we can play this with controller. Aha! There we go. It's just two buttons? I'm gonna crank the cycles a little bit more. Let's put it on like 7,000 cycles. Even that seems slow still. How many cycles do we need? Maybe 8,000 cycles. Huh? Huh? Everything seems weirdly slow. We have a grab. Yeah, it's not getting much faster, that's for sure. Back, back, kick is a fireball. The long byway, the long byway. I understand. Alright, I got it. That's all I need. I got all I need. Yeah, <laughs> this really is a venom strike. I don't want to pick one you, though. I'd rather pick John Headband and see what he's got. Excuse me? Menus? Thank you. A word? We got an intro? Yes! Is this legally distinct Street Fighter 2 intro music? Definitely picking John Headband again, whoever he is. It might be like Gan Ning or some shit. This game kind of rules. It looks like it rules so far. Dude, that Popeye game that just came out, Smetal Bear. <laughs> Popeye game looks so good. <laughs> I saw Chubo stream. There's John Headband. I saw Chubo stream the uh <laughs> Chubo stream the Popeye game. It looks it looks amazing. It looks incredible. And I mean I mean it looks incredible in the literal sense of the word. I mean it does not look credible. I'm not convinced it's a real game. It's a prank. The Popeye game? It's a prank, I'm sure of it. It's an elaborate prank. John Headband, let's go. That game is a prank, it has to be. E. What do you mean there's four ground objects in the way? Eh. Huh. Eh. Nice grip. These sound effects are crazy! Yo, I'm getting cooked! I'm getting grabbed left and right. I'm getting grabbed out of everything. He's too good. I found a move. Oh, do we have Zhang Fei? Really? Huh. Maybe we should go back to Guan Yu because we at least know how to do his fireball. Maybe. There we go.
Oh, he's good. Blade arm move is unstoppable on Wake Up. Hold on, let's fiddle around with some other characters. We're eventually gonna find the god move and it's just gonna carry us. We have to find it first. The voice samples are good, yeah. We're gonna let this timer run out. I'm gonna see if something special happens even. But let's find, let's look for the god move. The search for the god move begins. Very good default, like, high score names. Incredibly powerful. Let's go with... Let's try... This guy looks cool. Let's try this guy. Did I see the Asterix and Obelisk side-scroller 2D beat-em-up game that's coming out soon? I haven't! But it is to my understanding that Asterix and Obelix have like 8,000 games. What do you mean he OTG grabbed me? He's the best! I'm going with the usual suspect move inputs. Oh, you know what it is? I think we have to delay our inputs when we do special moves. The first thing we tried was back back kick because that's what worked with Guan Yu. So we tried to do that with this character and it didn't work. But when we deliberately went kick, wait a second, or when we went back, wait a second, back kick, and like we delayed it, that's when it came out. So I think we have to do them really, really slow. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the way. Do they cost meter too? They do cost meter. Isn't it just back kick? Hold on, you might be right. Let me see. I don't think it is. Hold on, let's go into two player mode again. If we go to if we go to two player mode, we can lab this out. It's all right. We're in the labbing process. This is all part of it. I'm digging the soundtrack so far. The soundtrack's pretty good. He said a swear, did he? I wouldn't know. I'll take your word for it. Let's try this guy. Trying to see if there's a way to charge meter as well. Yeah, Jimmy Big Sleeves is who we've got. Haven't found any moves yet. We're going with the usual suspect DOS inputs. Ah! Backback Punch gives us something. Dick Debonair, thank you for the host! Okay, so grab specifically is forward kick, not forward punch. This is the only move we know. We're gonna try, we're gonna go back to Guan Yu, because we can maybe get some mileage out of his fireball. Maybe that's all we need. This is Dynasty Warrior 0 0.5, no. It just so happens that Romance of the Three Kingdoms and Three Kingdoms era China in general is a very popular setting for video of games. Like, really popular. There's so many fucking... There's so many Three Kingdoms China games. Absolutely so many. We're just playing a small snippet of them. I'm gonna shoot, Mike. Not only for making a bad joke, but for repeating a joke we've heard about five times today. Alright, proceed. <laughs> Thank you. 
You weren't even there, I know. That's what makes the shot better. This game has a loose grasp on hit stun and block stun thus far. That's okay. This song was used in Fighters History Dynasty's Boogan. For something called Romance of the Three Kingdoms, there's not a lot of romance. Not that we can see. I'm sure there was plenty. It wasn't unusual for warlords in the Three Kingdoms era to have, like, fucking eight or nine sons. <laughs> Yo, he grabbed it. He recovered pretty quick. He's the best. He's too good. It seems as though... It seems as though we cannot input a special move while they're doing one. No, now we can. Okay, got it, got it, got it. There seems to be an exact timing to doing a fireball. Even though the input is a simple back-back kick... It seems like if we do the back either too fast or too slow, we don't get the fireball. It seems like there's a very specific rhythm to performing this move. So we're gonna have to learn that before anything else. That's fine. Yeah, no, two special moves does work. We just saw it work. Put me back in. Oh no, it's just one credit. What was the continue screen for? What was that timer for? If it kicked us to the menu. <laughs> did, the, did the timer do anything? I'm not convinced. <laughs> oh, let me try this guy. We're back in the lab. Yo, Basil! Thank you for the 68,000! Yeah, let me upgrade my PC. Hold on. I'm gonna crank the cycles. I actually raised the cycles quite a bit and it didn't go any faster. I think we're just at our speed limit for the game. This is as fast as it goes. <gasps> I figured it out. That's my kick? That's just regular kick? Hold on. Excuse me, I'm just trying to kick. I'm just trying to do a kick. It does hit more than once. Interesting. Fascinating. Interesting. Incredible. Amazing. That gives me an idea. Oh, it's not the anti-air I was hoping it would be. What he juggled into a grip! He's the best. He's the greatest. Did y'all see that shit? I get the distinct impression our opponents are not playing by the same rules we are. That's the impression I'm getting. <laughs> It would appear... I've just made a terrifying discovery. It would appear that the character we're playing as does not have a jumping kick. 
he just doesn't have one. We pressed jump and we pressed kick for most of the end of that second round, and he just don't. He just don't have a he don't have a jump kick. He has a jump punch, I think. I don't think he has a jump kick. Hold on. We have a jump punch. We don't have a jump kick. I understand. All of a sudden, things have become more clear. That was a cool move. I understand. I understand. Hit stun seems to... Hit stun seems to be a suggestion. He's throwing bird projectiles. This one seems pretty... This one seems pretty difficult. Wonder how useful of an anti-air this is. Maybe that's the strat. Maybe that's the strat. We just gotta anti-air him. A word? Hold on, is the jab, is this the answer? <laughs> Hey, maybe we have to stick out this really obnoxious jab more. Maybe that's the strat. That's a good win animation. You just kind of... You put your left leg in, you put your left leg out. <laughs> Did that chip him? Ah, oh, you got me. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Are we learned something this time? <laughs> Sengoku Shi, there's another series called that by Namco. I guess I shouldn't. I mean, there's it's, it wouldn't be the first time multiple games have had the same title. There's two Earth Defense Forces. Although I suppose the second one came a lot later. Maybe that's even more questionable. Because it feels like it'd be less okay to do that. <laughs> it feels like it'd be less okay to do that as far... As far forward in the, in the gaming future EDF for PS2 was, there was already the SNES one. Yeah, the no relation to EDF the shmup on Super Nintendo. <laughs> so Jimmy Bird sleeves or Jimmy Bids uh, Jimmy Big sleeves is pretty good, it seems. This game seems as ruthlessly difficult as many of the other games we've played so far, except we don't seem to have, like, the god move we can get carried by. So we might just get cooked. That might just be how it goes. Yeah, there's an EDF shmup as well. There's, like, a wing diver shmup. Oh, word throw loops? Hold on. You gotta find the exploit. Fair enough. You got me. We're gonna look for the god button. We're gonna find it. Maybe Baldy McBalderson has one. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Just try this guy. Let's try the guy the cursor starts on. Maybe this is their personal recommendation for characters. 
This is our kick button. This, uh, this goofy, like, headbutt thing, that's the kick button. Oh, hell yeah, slide seems pretty good. Wait a second. All right, slide seems pretty all right. We might have found the god button. We might have found it, yeah. Maybe we can just slide our problems away. If it went under that fireball, I was going to pop off. But it didn't. Could it be that they just don't block low? Could it be that there's no low blocking? Because, like, none of those got blocked. Could it be that either the game has no blocking or the AI never low blocks? Or, option C, much more terrifying, the slide is simply unblockable. This stage looks sick! This is a dope stage! Oh my god, I low-profiled this fireball. What do you mean I can low-profile those? Alright, you got me. You got me fair and square. <laughs> Chun-Li's house in Alpha 1. Yeah, famously, Chun-Li lives atop the Great Wall. They just don't. They just don't block that. They, like, j they just don't. They can't be bothered to block it. I think this move is just unblockable. I think they... I think they just don't. <laughs> Was that all a string? Did we just... Did, we, did that just come up? <laughs> This is why Guan Yu is the god of war. He just knows... He's the he's the greatest of all time. This game is sick. This is a dope ass game, not gonna lie. It's got a really cool It's got a cool like art style too. Meaty? Meaty sweep into another sweep! Huh. Why is it active for so long? It's active for an hour. That's crazy. That's incredible. Yeah, the CPU has its own score. That's a thing with a lot of, uh, like, particularly dank fighting games. Why is the slide also a good anti-air? Oh my god, OTG headbutt? We gotta set up that headbutt more, that's the tech. They should have never gave me an advancing button. That's where they fucked up. Nice foreground! Extremely good foreground! Can't see shit, Captain! I'm sorry? That went straight through me? Am I projectile invulnerable while I'm dizzy? That whiffed me entirely? <laughs> what just happened? This is a game. Are the cycles going too fast? I can turn them back down. Let me turn the cycles back down. Are you 
Yo, is he doing strings? Alright, you got me. Let's put it on like 6,000. I think 6,000 is about as high as it goes before we start noticing changes. That's probably where the cycles need to be. Translators note cycles refers to the speed at which a DOS game is playing. This can be adjusted on the fly within DOS box. Yeah, he has, like, a cool dive kick. Maybe that's why he doesn't have a normal, like, jump kick. Maybe it's because he has, like, a weird dive kick thing instead. Maybe it was a command normal and we were trying to do a regular jump kick. That's the theory, anyway. That's a good super he's got. We've only found... Well, I actually haven't found any special moves with this character yet. There doesn't seem to be a way to charge meter other than just kind of wait for it to passively fill up. We've tried holding buttons down. We've tried holding a... We've tried holding down back like in a Sango Fighter. No luck with that so far. Is this the dankest one? No. Violent Myth is the dankest game we've played today. We weren't even able to beat Violent Myth, let alone beat more than, like, two opponents. The speed of the special bar charging might be character-specific. You might be right. That's a terrifying thought. Yo, he's got the fucking... He's got the, like, Vegito 5L. <laughs> this button's a problem. That Wien animation is the greatest thing I've ever seen. His little, his little goofy shimmy. It's incredible. Incredibly powerful. It looks like when we use our... When we use this jump attack, it doesn't let us go... ...past him forward. We can't, like, jump over him with it. There's, like, a weird cross-up protection on the move that just stops us in front of him. Alright, hold on. Let's switch characters real quick. We'll check out... We'll check out some more characters. We might not be able to beat this one. This game seems a little... This game seems a little more ruthless because there isn't, like, a god strat that you can use to cheese it. Seems like you just kind of die in this one. That's okay, though. Let's pick, uh, let's try this guy. The other bald guy. He's less bald, but he's, he's, he's still, he's still on the way out. Oh my god, he's so... He's such a weird shape. Is this neutral? He's got yoga fire. He's got yoga fire, that's all we need. Now let me grab you! I understand. I can just crouch under his fireball as my character is so short that he just can't. Hit 
hitboxes are pretty mysterious. It seems like the crouch jab, uh, it seems like the crouch jab just, like, goes through things for some reason. As soon as we started crouch jabbing, we just, like, stopped getting hit. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> that's what seemed to be happening. Is this where we live? Has the answer been to just crouch jab more? Does it have, like, no hurt box on it? Did they forget to give this button a hurt box? No, okay. That's not the case. But it does seem very effective. It seems really effective nonetheless for some reason. Oh my god, stop. Why is this the strat? This feels like it shouldn't be the strat. This is a weird game. This is a mysterious game. It's very powerful, though. Fighting games of immense potency. Nice foreground. He starts with more health than we do, which is always a good sign. I can just go through fireballs with this, can I? Really? Tell me more. Somebody stop this man. Someone stop this tiny man. He's become too powerful. Everyone's shins are in danger. I'm coming after his knees. We're going after his knees. How to approach how to approach a tiny man attacking your knees you can't Ow. that still hit us i understand maybe we stood up <laughs> he's too good he's gonna shimmy he's gonna shimmy towards you and he's just gonna punch low if this works for the entire game if this strat works for the whole game this is the greatest game ever made <laughs> This is a dope stage. Very cool stage. Oh, we can't duck under that. That might be unblockable, that attack as well. One of the boats is on fire. Flaming boat quota has been met. Yo, what's up, Captain Nonchalanto? Nice grib! King Hong. 
Yeah, crouching jab is really good in Virtue of Fighter too. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, no, it seems weirdly powerful in this game. Oh, it is blockable. That does a lot of chip, though. He forgot to switch to SVG. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a famous, uh, that's a famous Sun Tzu strat. I like that we just have less health than him at the start of rounds. I wonder if every character has, like, a unique health value then. A word? Come here. Come here. I'm not done with you yet. Give me your kneecaps, hand them over. We done it. Are we really gonna shin punch our way through the game? Yes. Yes, we are. It seems to be the best thing. It seems to be the best strat. I'm okay with just seeing all the stages, because all the stages seem really good. He has so much health! Look how much health he has! <laughs> the anti-air crouch jab, that's reasonable. That's famously the function of the crouch jab to anti-air. He's trying so hard. He's trying so hard to get out. character's fucked up. This character's fucked up in the silliest way. He doesn't have, like... He doesn't have an absurdly obnoxious move. He doesn't... He doesn't have, like, a really big hitbox or anything. He's just, like, weirdly hard to hit while he's crouch-punching. Oh, this guy's got a slide, though! We might be in trouble! When we get dizzy, and then they try to hit us while we're dizzy, for some reason they just whiff. It's as if this character is untouchable while Dizzy. Because we've seen two characters try to hit us while Dizzy now, and it didn't work either time. Nice, nice, nice. So normal's chip, because those slides were dealing a little bit of chip damage. Yeah, Dizzy iframing through supers, that appears to be a thing. Couldn't tell you why, that's mysterious. I got you in the I got you with the corner. I got you for three minutes! Three minutes of playtime! <laughs> yeah, welcome to the crotch punching marathon. I mean, for some reason, it's the only move that works. None of the other moves work, but that one does. I couldn't tell you why this is the only move that works, but it seems to work. Cool stage, cool stage alert. Extremely cool stage.
Yeah, I, I, I accept the lore that this is just Chinese Karnov we're playing as. I accept that lore. You want to play civilized, you want to play like civilized neutral in fighting games generally. If you're playing, if you're playing fighting games online, you want to play them in a, in a method that can be described as smart. You want to do, you want to react to things, you want to, you want to do frame traps and mix-ups and OP and such, but when you're playing against a computer that just kind of knows what you're doing at all times, you have to find... Your mission is to find the one thing that they don't have a way around. And then you have to abuse that because you will die without it. <laughs> That's the single player experience. It's a completely different skill set too, which is weird to say. Yeah, that sometimes that's the multiplayer experience, too. That's true. Well, sometimes you're just playing against somebody and they don't, like, you're doing a particular thing that they don't know how to deal with. You've really got no reason not to just keep doing it until they find the answer. The single-player experience is very much just abusing the thing that works. That's just kind of how it goes. I love this, like, heat effect on this stage. <laughs> it's so sick. Yo, the Ultimo, thank you for the thank for the 100 Ryokos. You passed the exam, good shit. You know what that is, chat room? That's stream continuity. <laughs> Congratulation, I'm happy for you. That's the end of that subject, good. I took two years of Spanish. I've retained no Spanish. That's all. That's all that statement reminded me of. Is how little Spanish I've retained. Damn, this guy's good. The other bald man is too powerful. Bald man one more powerful than bald man two. That's just sound like ain't that funny from Mad World? Jack, Jack, he's a psychomaniac, that's right. <laughs> Ow. Wow, so yeah. You took two years of French. Catharis thing for the 13 whole years. I feel like that's the most common information for you to just completely lose once you're out of school, right? Is if you don't actively practice that language you were learning, you just it just completely flies out. <laughs> just completely leaves your brain bank. Especially if you're not immersed in the culture, yeah. Oh, that's active for a very long time, I understand. Okay. We'll have to accept defeat this time, because we got a couple other games I want to check out. We'll make sure we've got time for it. So from one bald man to another, we'll accept defeat.
Not actually bald in real life, though. Not nearly bald enough to be in that picture there. Let's take a look at... Let's see here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. How about we look at... This one. Wu Lin Zheng Baji Yang Zhang Tie. Might have pronounced that completely wrong. This roughly translates to Battle of the Martial Arts. Are these all Chinese games? These are all Taiwanese games. But they're all based on or in China. They're China themed Taiwanese DOS fighting games. The only way my four years of Japan language training was kept alive is immersion in Osaka. <laughs> Four years of Japan language training was kept alive via immersion in Osaka. Did you have a fun time? It sounds like a fun time. Ooh, we have an intro. Hold on. Hold on. We got cutscenes? Wait a minute now. We got production values? Wait a minute. I didn't authorize you to drop frames, OBS. Don't think I'm not watching you drop frames, OBS. Unauthorized frame drops. <laughs> You've ruined your mouse to the point where left click presses twice? Oh no, old man, look out behind you! Cutscene's pretty sick. <laughs> it looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. Oh no! Yeah, it was Akuma! I'll turn up the cycles just a little bit. There we go. Dead. That was a hell of a palm strike. Jesus. Well, let me turn it up. This game seems quiet. This game is dope so far. The handprint implies he has baby hands. Yeah, the person that killed him, he must have tiny baby hands. I think you're right. Got the sniffles today all of a sudden. Don't like it. Cool intro. Incredibly strong intro. Okay, where would options be? Are you options? Okay, this is probably... This is probably controller and keyboard. Did I just enable... Did I just enable controller? Let me see. I did! Okay, I turned on controller. Good enough. Good enough for me. We have eight different characters to choose from. I'm tempted to go with Zangief down here in the bottom right. I'm tempted to go Zangief. Let's do it. Oh, I have two hammers! I understand. I understand, I understand. Music's pretty good. Yeah, good tenderize some meat, baby. Yeah, Kong Dong is a pretty good name. Let's 
the search for a special move begins. Oh, there we go. Is it negative edge? Are special moves... Hold on. Are special moves negative edge? I think I held the button down and then did an input and then released. Hold on. It is negative edge! Okay, I understand. It's Street Fighter 1. Say no more, I got you. Damage seems pretty low in this game, just in general. Throw's pretty good, though. Oh, is Weapon Lord also negative edge? I believe that. I believe you. <laughs> That's some Primal Rage shit, too. Primal Rage has Negative Edge special moves. We gotta hold down the button first. Was that a throw tech, or...? No, that can't be. Negative Edge is such a cool-sounding term. If there's anyone in the chat who doesn't know what Negative Edge is... Imagine... You're throwing a fireball in Street Fighter, right? You do... To throw a fireball in most Street Fighter games, you do a quarter circle forward, and then you press a punch button. You just press it after you do the motion. Negative Edge is the same concept, but backwards, where you hold the button down first, and then you do the motion on the stick, and then you release the button. Negative Edge is the concept of a special move coming out on a button release and not a button press. I don't know if anything I just said makes any sense to you, but that's what it is. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, all right. I got a pretty good jab. I'm the one on the right. Wu Dun is a good name. Wait a second. Wait a minute. It might not even be negative edge. I think... I think you just hold the button down and you do the motion. How did I just do that? Hold on. I'm in the lab again. I think I just did a move without ever releasing the button. I think I just held punch. I did! I just held punch! And then I pressed down back and I did a move without ever releasing it. That's not even negative edge. That's something completely different. Yeah, that makes sense. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I'm learning a lot today. Where is my grab? Is it on forward punch or forward kick? Let's find out. Ah, there's my grib. The damage on everything seems so low in this game that I imagine the only way to deal damage faster is to just throw a lot. And even then, throws don't seem to do that much damage either. This seems like just a really low damage game. I understand. I understand. I understand. They seem to block pretty much everything as well, which is something we've already dealt with today. There's an exact science to getting moves out here. We're gonna perfect it. Oh, he's good. We gotta find the right character for us. Who is our hero? Maybe it's this guy. I can't believe Wu Dun's fucking dead. Sorry, this is the character for us, surely. 
cool stage! You see that stage intro? Holy shit. Ooh! Normals do so little damage. Oh my goodness. You've got a cool die if move. It seems like they just don't, like, block the last hit of that, ever. Which is good for us. Yeah, Kong Dong is a pretty strong name. Digging this music. <laughs> this character seems arrogant. He's got some... <laughs> He's got a pretty useful special move so far. It seems like they don't really know how to deal with it. So I'm just gonna abuse the fuck out of it if I can. The die of a sword move. I'm still not entirely sure how I'm doing it. I just kind of start churning. I hold the- I'm holding the punch button down and then I'm churning and then the move just kind of comes out. I don't know if it's a 360. It might actually be. I have a feeling it's not because the game is meant to be played on keyboard. But it seems to come out pretty reliably when I start churning butter while holding the button down. <laughs> nice throw! A word? That move looks like it should hit more times than it actually does. Wait a minute, that looks pretty good. Yo, that character's got some sick moves! You see that punch is dope! Seems like a more responsive Shaq Fu. The way the sprites look is kind of reminiscent of Shaq Fu. Which is not the best comparison to be making. But it definitely does control better. It definitely controls better than Shaq Fu, I'll tell you that for free. Alright, take a shot. We got another Chuan Shuo reference. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Mr. Annual? Oh, word? Can I just throw loop? Nice. Block this overhead. Is it better than Shaq Fu, a legend reborn? That's an incredibly low bar. I hope you understand. I hope you understand how, how low that bar is you've just set. <laughs> a bonus stage? What am I doing exactly? None of the buttons work. I understand. There was a bonus game there. Maybe the bonus game was meant to be played on keyboard because none of the buttons actually did anything. <laughs> This stage runs at a different frame rate than the rest of them. That's interesting. Maybe this stage is so busy that it just don't. Yeah, these games love their foreground parallax. I mean, it's only really... Foreground objects obscuring the action is really only a problem from, like... A competitive 
standpoint, with like the the beach in Street Fighter V, obscuring Birdie's like soda can that he can roll. For most casual players, uh, they're probably not gonna care. They might even think that's kind of cool. It's just for like a competitive standpoint. They're like, all right, that's kind of fucked up. Let's maybe not allow that. Most people, I suspect, won't care. When, like, there's a foreground object in the way. Yeah, it was a, it was a big 90s thing. You got the table in the, uh, you got the, you got the Chun-Li, like, table in Third Strike that people don't like. Thankfully, the table isn't that big of a problem, but it is there. People don't like that table. <laughs> yeah, the Chun-Li table. It's a good thing nobody plays Chun-Li, so that no one ever goes... It's a good thing it never ends up at the Chun-Li stage, because no one plays Chun-Li in that game. Am I right, gamers? It's a good thing. Obscure, low-tier character, Chun-Li Third Strike. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> if you play SA3 Chun-Li, I mean, why would you do that, though? Chun-Li is one of those characters where SA2 is, like, so good. It's like, why would you ever just not... Why would I ever pick a different super art? It's like picking... It's like picking a Ken super that's not... Uh, uh... <laughs> Shifu. It's just like, why would I do that? I have something of a strat? This, like, overhead move, I still can't get it out consistently. It just... I just churn butter, and it works sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just an unfortunate case of the good supers in Third Strike being so good, it's like, why would I ever not pick those? It's like, I think that... I think that Yurian's two other supers are pretty okay. Like, Yurian's non-Aegis Reflector supers, it's just the problem is, Aegis Reflector is so good... It's so much better than the two other ones where it's like, why would I just, why would I, why wouldn't I? Pretty much got to, right? Some characters you can get away with uh, picking other supers, though. Like, Makoto has two good ones, I would say. Like, Makoto's uh, Seichusen and the, the, the one where she goes off the wall, I would say those are both pretty good. I still don't know how to breathe in this minigame. What if I hit keyboard buttons? Nah, that don't do anything. However this minigame is performed, it's unclear. That's okay. Makoto's Rage Super? I mean, you can't block. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit of a problem. You can still parry, I guess, but... I don't know. Just pick the just pick the wall dive. Whatever the fuck that super was called. No, Makoto players don't block, it's fine. Why would they block? Too busy going for Karakusa. Kinda jamming to this music. This this track in particular, I'm Get into it. Who dares? Yo, Kizzy K! That's a big ass raid, Kizzy K. Thank you so much. We're playing, uh. We're playing Taiwanese DOS fighting games. Based on. Based on ancient China today. Is an incredibly specific theme we've found ourselves in. 
I'd pronounce the game we're playing. It's at the top of the screen. I'd pronounce it, but I don't believe in myself enough. <laughs> e. I'm gonna churn butter. I'm churning butter again. Here I go. Got him! Let's go! No, there's not a player two in this instance. We're just running through arcade mode. I feel like that would be hard to convince somebody. Like, somebody in this chat room, if we were to be like, Hey, who's trying to run the set in this DOS fighting game? Someone would probably be like, yeah, go ahead. But I feel like if you asked most people, it's like, Hey, you wanna play this jank-ass DOS fighting game? They'd be like, nah, fuck that shit. I'm going back to Strive, or whatever they're playing. <laughs> this is another stage that runs at a worse frame rate than the rest of them. Why do some stages in this game... Some stages in this game just run slower than the rest of them? I don't know why. I guess there's just too much. There are too many graphics. Easy. I think it's the same in Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yeah, you might be right. The hit sparks look like sugar cookies. I haven't even noticed any hit sparks. They must be really small. Because I've yet to perceive them. This is the only move that seems to work consistently. Is this one? And then we try to, like, go for a grab afterwards. Nothing else works. Are there any fighting games on DOS that aren't jank? The short answer is... No. The long answer is One Must Fall is probably the closest it gets to real civilization. Primal Rage. Is Children of the Atom on DAWs? I've never played. Is that is that true? What if I churn? What if I churn butter? No, that doesn't help us with this minigame. I've never played Children of the Atom on DAWs. I gotta play that. I gotta play that port. That sounds awful. <laughs> but what about Xenophage stream? Xenophage is. That's not a civilized game. Come on now. That game is dank as fuck. <laughs> thank you, family. thank you for the 100 bits, the Ultimo. SMK HALT! Thank you for the follow. Usually on Fridays... Usually on Fridays we take a look at new, uh... We take a look at dank fighting games. Most Fridays we do, we just do like a fight game Friday where we look at weird shit. You're in the midst of one of the danker ones. Sometimes we play fighting games that barely work. Sometimes we play fighting games that straight up don't work. Not every Friday, most Fridays, I would say, we play some pretty dank fighting games. Sometimes we don't play dank ones, sometimes we play perfectly normal Welcome fighting games. Get ready. This is not one of those days. No, we've never played. I've never played a bad game on this stream. I don't know what you're talking about, that sounds cap. Do I just Google dang fighting games? I wish that- I wish it were that easy, I really do. Do you know how easy my job would be? If I could just Google dank fighting games and it gave me those? No, there's actual research that's involved. <laughs> gotta do- I gotta do my homework before these streams. Oh, this guy's good. Could you imagine if they put the tick in KOF 15? That'd be the crossover of the century. I dress up like Indiana Jones looking for these. I don't... I can't... I mean, I can't... 
I can't disagree. It is a lot like treasure hunting in a way. Looking for dank video games to play. What's the opposite of treasure? Because that's frequently what we find. I mean, it's treasure to me. <laughs> yeah, not treasure hunter. That seems like a useful move. It costs too much meter to use it, though. I'm sad that we've already played Not Treasure Hunter, though. There's not much else we can get out of that game. I think we got every... Well, we didn't get every ending in Not Treasure Hunter. We got most of them. Is the fireball... Was that fireball an overhead? Oh, no. I'm gonna try to low block the next fireball. What do you mean the fireball's an overhead? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. You're mad. Why would I be mad? I understand. I understand. No further questions, Your Honor. Are there 623P inputs? No. So this game's special moves, the best way I can describe it is you just hold the button down, and then you do the motion with the stick while still holding the button down. It's not even negative edge. So to do the, the, the like, jumping sword dive I've been doing, you hold punch and then you just, like, start rotating the stick. And then it comes out. It's not even negative edge, because you don't let go of the punch button. You have to keep it held the entire time. I have no idea what that is. This is a mysterious game. This is a very, this is a very mysterious game. Did I just walk straight through that fire? Did I just? I understand. I have to remember to block fireballs high. Fucking overhead fireballs, why not? Am I winning? I think so. We've gotten cooked in several of these games, though. That's just kind of, that's just how DOS fighting games go. You're gonna get cooked. Nice, nice. They made Weapon Lord excruciating to play. That doesn't bode well, because I planned on doing a Weapon Lord stream. I'm not as knowledgeable. I'm not as knowledgeable about Weapon Lord as as some other people. Definitely not a Weapon Lord expert. But we, next time we do a fight game Friday, we can probably play Weapon Lord. I mean, I'd be okay with that. Which version of Weapon Lord is the superior one, I suppose, is the question, because it was released for the Super Nintendo and the Genesis. Genesis one plays best Super Nintendo, but overclock it! They both have upsides. Maybe we should just look at both of them, then. There's a novel concept. What if we just doubled up on Weapon Lord and played both? Yo, he's got the answer to that move. That's a problem. I need more meter. Let me just build meter. Hold on. Hold on, excuse me. Excuse me, I need meter to live. Alright, I'm back in. Alright, I'm not back in. Ah, he got me! Oh, he's too good. Surprisingly, no, I haven't played uh, Clay Fighter yet. Alright, we'll concede defeat on this game. We'll concede to this game, because we... I got, like, another hour, and there's still one more game we have to look at. We started the stream with, uh, probably the most well-known game we were going to play today. We played Sango Fighter. We're about five hours into this stream. We've yet to play Sango Fighter 2.
Of course we have to play Sango Fighter 2. We're not going to play 1 and not 2! So let's take a look. Where did I put it? It's pretty important to know where you've placed the video game, I would say. It's pretty... It's pretty important. There you are. Back to Super Fighter Team. All right. We've got a black screen. All right, all right. Ah, there you are. History moves in cycles when dynasties slide into corruption. Oh, I didn't have enough time. And so China found itself in the days of the Eastern Han Dynasty. The young emperor's power was suppressed by an evil regent as traitorous eunuchs plunged the court into chaos. There's a word you don't hear often. Not these days. <laughs> The superior looking sequel graphically. Well, I'd hate to see a game that looks worse. I'd hate to see a sequel that looks graphically worse than the game that preceded it. This intro does look really good, though, I agree. Yeah, the warm hearted Liu Bei. Is he, though? Is he, though? Is he actually, though? South Sao's advance past Guan Long would not be so easy. Liu Bei, who spent half of his life as a wanderer under the protection of others, formed the opposing kingdom of Shu with the aid of Zhu Ge Liang and his generals, the Five Tigers. United with Sun Wu, ruler of the kingdom of Wu and Zhangdong, to oppose the warlord of the north. You got it. Are these the Five Tigers? Which one's Guan Yu? None of them look like Guan Yu. I don't think these are the five tigers. This is this is Wei, right? These are the Wei guys. Second from the left. He doesn't have a big enough beard, though. He's got to have a huge beard. I think this is Wei. That's probably Cao Cao in the middle. If I had to guess. Street Fighter 3 to Street Fighter 4. You know what? You're right. <laughs> That's fair enough. Sango Fighter 2. I'm ready. I didn't have to configure my controller. It just works? Wow. Wowie zowie. Just works? What a concept. Yeah, 2010. 2010 is the public re-release in English by Super Fighter Team. The game itself is from 95. This English version we're playing is from 2010, though. You can get it on their website. If you just go to, like, fucking sangofighter.com, you just get this game for free. It's just up there for you to get. Let's go. Let's just run arcade mode. Superfighter.com. Sorry, not Sango Fighter. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Zhao Yun, Ma Chao. We got so many characters this time. Xu Huang. What do you mean you went straight to Lu Bu? Why did you... It's fine. Wait a minute. Gan Ning's in this? Ooh, they put Gan Ning in this one? I love Gan Ning. Really? Taishi Chi Huang Gai. Soon say... Soon say is kind of dope too. Hold on. Who am I? Who am I going for? <laughs> That's a really good sprite for Dion Way. <laughs> Holy shit, he's pissed. That's amazing. Nah, you know what? Give me, give me Gan Ning. I don't know how. I don't know how Gan Ning is in this game. Let me try him. I gotta turn this game down. It's getting loud as fuck. Hold on. Are we loading? I think we're loading. We're loading something. Ah, we're in. Oh, we gotta turn these cycles up. 
We gotta turn the cycles up for sure. There we go. All right, cycles are up. Nice grab. Did he tech that or did he just like flip out real quick? Damn, this game's responsive as fuck. Oh, what was that? Hold on. Yo! Alright, I found a move I like. Lubu! Alright, alright, alright. Let me in. Let me in! Damn, we got special cancels. We got honest to god special cancels in this. This is the only game we've played today with special cancels. What a concept. Is this neutral? You're guessing the guy we're playing as is the doll sim of Sango Fighter 2. I would... He's got a fireball and a Honda hand slap. I wouldn't... I wouldn't describe either of those things as being doll sim. Oh, hold on, let's go back. Let's not pick Gan Ning. Who do we got? Who else was new? Let's try soon to say. <laughs> Dalsim does a fireball, that's true. Damn, this fireball's animated really nice! Excuse me? What is this? Is this a DP? Oh, this move's sick. <laughs> yeah! I understand. I understand, I understand. I suspect we can still do the throw thing. I suspect we can still throw out of blocks to... We're gonna try that. Yeah, we definitely can. It's removed? Maybe we did a really light... Maybe we just put him in so few... Nah, it's definitely still a thing. Maybe jump attacks just have, like, the block stun of a, of a, like, a jumping light. So you can just get the throw. Iframes on that? Okay. We got iframes on this move. Whatever the fuck this is, it's got iframes. Okay, that was pretty dope. That was our full meter grab. This music is going ape shit, dude. I had burst, but I won that round. Yoshi 
てほしいだけ剣のパワーにしてほしいだけ剣のパワーにしてほしいだけしてほしいだけ It hits so many times when we have full meter. Another one. I'm just gonna i f r a m e through all your fireballs. I know that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, of course. Nah, we've been fucking around with some other shit too, g o a t y This is like the. This is like the sixth game we've played. You wouldn't think. You wouldn't think there'd be so many Taiwanese developed DOS fighting games based on, like, ancient China. You wouldn't think there'd be so many. There's a fuck ton of them. No, we haven't played Tough Guy today. It's gotta load. It's gotta load the stage. Very cool. Very cool animated snow. Blanca Ball still looks like a problem. Oh, he's got some new shit. Shuju's got some new shit. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. Nice. I have an idea. I have an idea. I think I figured out neutral. Oh, shit. It's not much damage, though. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, he jumped over the super version. I'm not surprised. He was scared. Oh, that's an actual punish. We can punish that. What a throw! So he had full meter when he grabbed us. That gave him like a special throw that did more. Goomba Kaiser. Goomba Kaiser! That does sound like what he's saying. Thank you, the Ultimo, for the 100 Goomba Kaisers. Did he just, like, do a hop? Did he just do, like, a hop normal over that fireball? Like, he did a fucking short hop? That's crazy. This game's got tech. What do you mean there's tech? No, please, I beg you. <laughs> I can't get over that he's using a normal to get over the fireball. <laughs> he's just using, like, a hop kick. That's probably, like, forward kick. It's probably just a command normal. I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe they're smart enough to do that over fireballs. That's some next-level shit for 1995, I'm gonna be honest with you. Wouldn't expect AI to be that smart. Easy grab. Another one. Another one. Oh shit. 
<laughs> this might be this might be one of my favorite DPs ever. Let me just engulf myself in lightning and then ascend. This might be my favorite DP in history. This is such a goofy move. Always oh, good. How did he know? Yeah, whatever kick he's using to go through our fireballs, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's making me sad. It's making me real sad he's going straight through that fireball. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa! What do you mean I have a down punch? Whoa! Oh, hold on, this character's sick. Whoa! I understand. I understand, I understand. This game is incredible. <laughs> that button can cross up. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Oh my god, stop. Yo, it's scared to sick! Yo, is that my boy Botanic Sage underscore BS resubscribing for 21 whole years? What's 9 plus 10? I wish I knew. I'm really bad at math. I have excellent news, Trey. We're playing Sango Fighter 2. We're playing a Taiwanese DOS fighting game based on Three Kingdoms China. 9 plus 10? Yeah, it's probably 57. It's 5 7, definitely. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Do math better, idiot. Stupid. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Alright, I'm back in. Back in, baby. Nineteen? Somebody shoot that guy. He's way off. Mr. Flamey, thank you for the follow. Who does math anymore? I've never done math in my life. I'm not about to start now. Oh, word? Wait a second. Do they just go for DPs? Do they just go... They just go for DPs when you're standing next to them on Wake Up. Does that mean I can just, like, when I knock them down, I can just go close to them and then they'll try to DP? Why does that not push back? No, never done math in my life. They do, they just go for them on Wake Up! I understand. I understand. We can abuse this fact. This is information we can exploit. This game's really fun. 
I'm having a grand old time. This game's great. It's just like playing a human. Humans always wake up DP. Could you imagine? Could you imagine not mashing DP on wake up? Couldn't be me. I'm not even mashing on wake up. I'm mashing before the knockdown. Like, I'm mashing a neutral. No, it couldn't be me. That's a good uppercut! Word? He just input read that. I understand. Alright, hold on, this guy- Alright, hold on, this he's gaming, hold on. Hold on, he might be gaming. He's gaming pretty hard. John Matrix! Thank you, John Matrix, for the ten whole years. I like that everyone's got, like, everyone's got anti-fireball moves. We can't jump at him. We definitely can't jump at him. He's got the punish for those. Yeah? <laughs> did he just do a DP? We just waited for- he just, he just did a walk-up DP. He had no idea what to do. He was out of ideas. He's just like, fuck it. What if it works? He really is human. There must be a human on the other side. Because that DP can only have been performed by a human. Yo, Dan Sim, thank you for the follow. That he really just DPs in neutral while I'm blocking. Do it again. He really just does that. That he's just like, fuck it, I'm going to uppercut. I understand. Another one. Oh, shit. Just uppercut again. Just do it. You know you want to. Just do it again. Thank you. <laughs> just... This is the greatest AI I've ever seen. He's incredible. I've never seen AI so amazing. It just walks up, goes for an uppercut. He has no fear whatsoever. Bonus stage. What am I doing? What is this bonus stage? Am I just breaking these? Oh, they can hit us! Huh! Huh! Ah, oh, you got it. One may I understand. That was like strangely intense music for a bonus stage. But I'm not gonna. Not gonna complain. Ah, uh, percut. Oh shit. So Dion Wei still has his old moves, but it looks like they don't cover quite as huge of an area as before. I understand. It's a good sound effect he's making. Yeah, stage music is great. Yo, he just go through. He's the best. He's the best. He's the greatest. Oh, he's got no fear. He's got no fear whatsoever. I understand. I understand. I understand. Dion Wei is a problem. He was a problem in the first game, too, but it looks like they did nerf him a bit in this game. Thank goodness, because, uh, Dion Wei was fucked up in Sango 1. It looks like they nerfed him a bit. <laughs> he 
<laughs> Yo, he DP'd that. Looks like Dion Way's not even programmed to jump over fireballs. He's like, I'm programmed to iframe through your fireballs. I guess this is where we live. We just live in this corner. I mean, the impetus is on him to approach, really. Was that unblockable? No, it wasn't. I must have got caught pressing something. It would appear that sometimes a move will just get through your guard. I don't know how to describe what I'm experiencing. Sometimes you will be holding block and a move will just like randomly get through it. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Uppercut. Uh oh. Hey, I'll take that though. What the fuck? He's good. Oh, he's good. Yeah. Alright. He's doing this at a weird range that we can't punish it so good. That's a problem. Damn, he got us. Alright, we have a we have something of a strat for Dion Wake. We have uh, something resembling a strat. I wonder if they'll just let us get away with jumping in. Probably not. We'll see. Full screen DP usually works. Not sure why it didn't. <laughs> A word? It's interesting that he doesn't use his DP as reaction to a jump. He uses, like, his weird spin move? That feels like the wrong move to be programmed to do in that situation. Because he has a DP. Ow. Nice punish. Did he say... No, I don't think he would have said the wrong name. I don't think soon say is pronounced the way that I'm saying it. I think it might be like a dank pronunciation. Soon sa is that how it is? I understand, I understand. Yo, he's got those? He's got air to airs? He's the best, he's a genius. Well, that shit chips pretty hard. That did a ludicrous amount of damage, if I'm being honest. But I'm okay with that, because it was me that was dealing it. <laughs> yes, son, sir, that sounded closer to what we just heard. That sounds about right. I 
I think, am I imagining things or? His jump in is not, it looks like it hits, okay. I'm gonna intentionally not block high when he jumps in. Do you see that his jump ins don't actually deal damage? It just doesn't. The button he's jumping in with, it just doesn't. Like it's hitting and it's not doing any damage. Do you see that? That's weird. Yeah, no, I mean, the hit, it's got the hits done, but it's like, what's the point of blocking it? It doesn't do anything. It's a mix-up tool, y'all. You're probably right. Oh, now he DPs. Our Dion Wei is a good character still. I have an idea. I have an idea. It's time to go back to the old me. We're gonna, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the old me. I'm gonna go back to Shu Shu. Where'd he go? Where's he at? Where's the big boy? Where's he gone? There you are. <laughs> let's see if let's see if he's still obnoxious in this game. Why is he grayed out? Because we already beat him in the arcade mode. What else do you got? Looking for his other moves. Nice grib. He didn't always have a fireball, did he? They definitely just, like, gave him a fireball. No, he did have a fireball, but it, it didn't actually go anywhere. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, he had a huge Kiko show, that's what it was. That hits on the way up and the way down. It's kind of fucked up. Alright, so Shu Chu definitely got nerfed along with Dion. Dion Wei's still pretty good, though. Let's go back to Soon Say. I was enjoying that. <laughs> yeah, it does adorable stray cat. I'm sure that's not what they're saying. It'd be pretty dope if it was. I'm pretty sure that's not what they're saying. Or maybe we should pick Lu Boo. Maybe that's what we should do. Just say fuck it. Game this old, though. It wouldn't be expected. Game this old, it wouldn't be expected for Lu Boo to be, like, top tier. I have an idea. I have an idea. So I'm in the lab looking for ways to land, like, a tick throw right now. Because that's the only way we're gonna... That's the only way we're gonna get damage any kind of quickly is if we just go for, like, a goofy ass grab. I'm not sure he's gonna give one to us, because a lot of his moves he happens to go in the air for. There aren't a lot of opportunities to grab him. And at least one of them has iframes. That is so funny that that doesn't do anything. Oh, word? Hold on. So that sort of works. Lubu's top tier in Koihime? I haven't played it. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. 
so that is a lot less safe than I thought. We can punish the fuck out of that move. One of the moves that we've been respecting, we don't have to be respecting, it seems. The move where he does a roll and then he does like a little stab, that move appears to be very, very minus on block. So we need to be punishing it instead of respecting it. Yeah, that move right there. Oh, he's good. It's unfortunate that the movie's most fond of goes through fireballs. <laughs> and, and that our super is a fireball. Alright, fair enough. Dong Dong Never Dies sequel kind of cartoony looking. Could you imagine if they ever did come out with a Dong Dong Never Die 2? When did Dong Dong 1 come out? Like 2010? Maybe later? Maybe it's just been in the oven this whole time. Maybe there's still a Dong Dong 2 being made right now and just no one's aware of it. And they're just gonna drop it really suddenly one day and it's gonna be the dopest game ever made. Do I get a guaranteed grab after that? Maybe I do. If I can grab punish that, then that move is way worse than we've been making it look. I don't know, I was asking the chat room, Dino Pulsata. <laughs> All right, we definitely figured, we figured out Dion way. He has a very, very unsafe move that we have been respecting and we shouldn't have been. We should, we, we were respecting that move for too long. As soon as we stopped respecting it, things went better. Yeah, we went like one in 10, it was close though. I'm aware, yes. I'm f I'm very aware of this, I promise you. Thank you for the 100 bits, Guesty. How did that work? I'll take it. Yo, he's flipping, he's flipping and dipping. Another one. Oh. Why is this a strat? Oh no! He did a neutral jump. Could it be that no jump-ins deal damage? Because it seems like his don't either. Could it be? Could it be that jump-ins just don't do anything? Is that possible? Yeah, they should. They don't seem to be. I'm getting hit by jump-ins and they're not dealing damage. I'm blocking low. So unless these are not overheads, they just don't deal damage. 
it could be that they're not overheads like a jump attack should be. It could be that they could just be blocked low, but it looks like we're getting hit by them. Like, that's a damage sprite. Take it standing and unblocked. All right, hold on. I'm gonna get hit by a jump in. If we get hit by it standing, that means that they just, for some reason, don't have, like, a blocking low sprite. Do a jump in. Okay, yeah, no, they do damage. They do damage just for whatever reason. When you're low blocking, it looks like you get hit, but I guess maybe you actually blocked it. And it's unclear. Maybe. That's a pretty cool move, not gonna lie. Do the wake up grab? I wasn't ready. That's alright. I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, no overheads, but you get stunned by it. Kazuma Kiryu, thank you for the follow. That's pretty dope. This is Jaho you on this whole time, huh? I wasn't even aware. I didn't recognize any of his moves. <laughs> I'm also used to Jaho Yuan being a pretty, like, big boy. Yeah, no, we've been streaming for a while. We're gonna try to clear the, uh... We're gonna try to clear this arcade mode before we go. Yeah, only some characters have weapons in this game. I guess that was true in Sango Fighter 1 as well. Because, like, Zhang Fei... Zhang Fei in Sango Fighter 1, he didn't have a weapon. But, like, Guan Yu did. So I guess just only certain characters have a weapon for some reason. Maybe they thought that made them more interesting somehow. Yeah, Zhao Yuan is supposed to have a bow like Huang Zhang. But that's fine. I don't mind his goofy kick moves. Block stun appears to be a suggestion. Just in general. It seems like after you block something, you can generally... Just, like, stick a button out and it'll punish. Yo, nice super. It's pretty good. That's good info, though. That means we can just start... We mash more after blocking. See if we get anything out of it. Or we can be a head ass and just go for tick throws. <laughs> Maybe that's the plan. Just fuck it. What if I just go in and start grabbing? What are you gonna do about it? Will you fight or will you perish like a dog? I see you, OBS. I see you dropping 40 frames. I expect you to put those frames back. Shaho, do it! We're about to get smoked, I have a feeling. Oh, he's got like a. He's got similar moves to Shaho Yuan. Yeah, stealing frames from the frame jar. Ah, that hits. We gotta block that twice. We got the super. When we spend our meter on a grab, it does like 50%. And it seems way more useful 
it seems way more useful to use our meter on the grab than the super version of the fireball. Because it seems like every character in this game has really reliable anti-fireball tech. So fuck it. Save the meter for a grab, then. It's more damage anyway. Hey, look at this. Look at the absurd damage we get out of that. Oh, he just did a grab! Okay, it's fine. Nah, the Oz about to do a second DP. He was doing he was doing jump ins. He was doing his jump ins shallow enough that we can just grab when he lands. <laughs> that's, that's not that's not how that's not how you're supposed to do it. Lupu! With an umulot! There can't possibly have been an umulot in Lupu's name. That's some Sango Fighter bullshit, right? It didn't actually have one. It couldn't have had one. Where have I seen Lubu's fireball animation before? Hold on. Where have I seen this? Where have I seen this animation? I'm just looking at the way he's throwing fireballs, and I'm like, I've seen this before. Who throws fireballs like that? What is that animation from? Oh, you know, it's from Jax! Mortal Kombat Jax throws them like that. Or yeah, maybe DJ? DJ's is more of an uppercut than like a swiping motion, though. Yeah, D DJ or Jax, one of those two. More likely, probably DJ, being a being an Asian developed game. Where's Lubu's silly insect antenna? Is that like a crucial feature of him? Does every depiction of Lubu give him antenna? <laughs> <laughs> it would have popped off if that worked. Oh, he's got strings? We're out here doing strings? What was that instant dizzy? If that wasn't the most Street Fighter 2 shit I've ever seen. Alright, Lubu's got some. Lubu's got hands. He's still... Lubu is still a threat. We got smoked. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors always gives that to him. Looks like we can't get the tick throw after that either. There must be a moment where we can get a good grab loop going. Yo, he's got an air throw! He's the best! Who gave Lu Bu an air throw? And why don't more people give him an air throw? I think more depictions of Lu Bu should have air throws. That was pretty sick, I'm not even mad. <laughs> as soon as he did an air throw, <laughs> this is the sickest shit I've ever seen. I didn't expect to see an air throw in a DOS fighting game, so I'm pretty happy with that. KG Maeda or Lu Bu? Like, if they got into a fight, who do I think? Probably Lu Bu. The real question is, would Lu Bu beat Tadakatsu Honda in a fight? That's the real dream match. Oh, 
It looks like if we just allow him to jump in, we can mash. And we can sometimes get a- we can grab out of it. Doesn't seem to be consistent, though. Yeah, those two were 1400 years apart. Feudal Japan versus Three Kingdoms China. They're not on equal footing tech-wise. They had muskets and shit. said Goku Basara had like a Tanakatsu bot. I remember that. I've only played, um... Which one was it? What was the Sin Goku Basara game on the... What was it, a PS3? It had a really big focus on, uh... on, on Ieyasu. And he had like... He, 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 he was a boxer, yeah. That's the one I've played. That one in the fighting game. There's a Sengoku Basara fighting game that's really good. Bonus stage. Am I destroying an igloo? I understand. I got hit by the igloo, excuse me! What do you mean it can deal damage? Yeah, there's still dead guys in the background. I guess that's fine. We're not gonna worry about it. Nice. 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 Yeah, snow got hands. You know what it is? It looked like the ice that we were creating was pointy. And we were getting we were getting stabbed by it. Yeah, the sting of cold defeat. That's as good an explanation as any, I suppose. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Kyo? We're out here saying go fighting. That's an overhead, I understand. We haven't played any IGS games. We're specifically playing a very... We're specifically playing Taiwanese-developed DOS fighting games. Based on or in ancient China. It's a hyper-specific theme. Turns out there's about six hours worth... <laughs> ...of that exact theme. How did you get the grab? Another one. There we go. Another one. I understand. That did a lot of hits. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> I tried to uppercut the rook. It wouldn't have worked anyway. He was too far. Machao looks really silly in this game. Something about his helmet. I'm not sure what it is. He just looks really silly. What the fuck was that? He's showing us new moves. That's an overhead. I understand. Is that an air throw? It didn't do any damage, so I guess it's fine. I'm 
tried to wake up DP. That's what I... I tried to do an actual DP motion, and that's not how that move is performed. <laughs> Soon says DP is just down forward punch. We tried to input an actual DP for some reason. I have a feeling that would not produce the move that we're trying to do. <laughs> There's a good loop we can get him in, though. There seems to be a pretty... Pretty good throw loop we can get him in. Because he goes for like a wake up attack that's not that good. A lot of his special attacks appear to be overheads. We need to stop blocking low against Machow. Nah, give me him. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, he's pretty aggressive. He doesn't seem as annoying as some of the people we've faced so far, though. Like he seems he seems tolerable. Another one. Yeah, just give me my super. That's all we were fishing for. We had full meter. Let me like, let me get this grab. That's all you need is a good grab. Damn, we're nine credits into this already. DOS fighting games got hands. He seems pretty committed to this fireball. Which I suppose is good news, because his fireball doesn't seem great. Trying to set up a... Trying to get him to block in a specific way that allows us to get a grab afterwards. He doesn't seem willing to fall for it, though. Macho! Macho! Oh, we've been getting our inputs read all day, Trey. <laughs> That's just part of it. Whenever you play, like, fighting game, if you just, like, run arcade mode in any fighting game, you gotta expect your inputs to get read a little bit. That's just how it's gonna be. Yo, do you see that instant overhead? See that instant overhead kick he just did? He's a genius. He's the best. <laughs> let me just do this. Well, I first DP whiff. Let me just do another one. Fuck it. <laughs> with how, uh. With how much he likes to do the. Oh, we dropped a bunch of frames there. <laughs> I, see we, I see we dropped a bunch of frames. It's alright, they'll stabilize eventually. E. Nah, stream shouldn't be down. But I see that we're dropping frames a bit. Yeah, oof, ouch, my frames! I would give it... I'd probably give it, like, a minute. I would assume it'll be fine. Usually when this happens, it's only temporarily, then it goes back to tolerable afterwards. Ha! 
Oh, you got me. Ah, let me see. Let me see something. Let me see something. Let me see. Let me see. Give me one second. Let me perform some science for you. I'm going to perform a science experiment. <laughs> you believe in the heart of the frames? Hold on, I got you. What if I do this? I don't think that fixed our problem, actually. Or did it? Did it actually work? Did I fix the problem? All I did was I hit one button. And it looked like it went back to tolerable. <laughs> Tell me if they drop again. <laughs> it looks like it's fine at the moment. I literally clicked one button. So if somehow that fixed our problem, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're still out here. Still out here saying go fighting. There's like 30 seconds of latency out of nowhere. I don't think I've ever streamed for this long at like well no I've I've done I've done long streams at this house before. This isn't the house I used to stream at. I'm in a completely different house. <laughs> And I'm trying to... I don't think I've ever been... I don't think I've ever been live this late. To see if it's like a consistent... <laughs> like, issue that would happen at 8pm. It might be, who knows. I love his air throw. I love that he has that dope-ass air throw. His multi-hit projectile, that's when he has full meter. That's his super that he's doing. Right, we got him. Yeah. My chow down. We still got what? Like seven? Like seven characters or some shit? We got a bit more to go. Yeah, we're still out here. Probably, probably Tsao Tsao is still like a boss character as well. Oh, hold on, I'm liking this jam. <laughs> That's a good uppercut. Oh, there's notes out, so they just took him out, did they? He's onto my schemes. He's onto my schemes, he learned better. He's fucking- oh, is, is he already dead at this point? That doesn't sound right. Maybe he is, though. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah! It does sound like Bean, and that's what it was! I was like, where have I heard this before? I mean, at least, the, at least that chorus bit. Oh, he's good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Sure. Is this neutral? Oh, no! <laughs> he got sick of it. I'll take it. We just gotta do that again. Let's just get him in a throw loop. That's all we gotta do. I'm gonna throw a loop. I'm gonna do it.
It looks like he is also fond of doing jump-ins, like, shallow enough that we can just grab punish. Like, he doesn't do his jump-ins deep enough. Yeah, alright. That went pretty well. He didn't have the best plan. They're thinking about it. <laughs> Why did the cursor go back and forth like they were actually in thought about it? Look at this stage. Look at the water. It looks so good. There's a dude fishing on the right. Amazing. Incredible. This game looks sick. That's a lot of damage. I understand, I understand. Yeah, he's got the Rio fireball. Yeah? Crouching jab, anti-air? That's not how that's supposed to work. Crouching jab is not an anti-air in my book, but I'll take it. Uppercut. Damn, how did he know? <laughs> They're bongos. The extended bongo verse. Nah, let me bring him to the corner, because when he goes for a jump in against me in the corner, that tends to be when you can get a good grab punish. Yeah? There we go. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're starting to game a little bit. We might be able to beat this one faster than Sango Fighter 1. Sango Fighter 1 took us like two and a half hours. Although granted that was the arcade and the story mode. The flaming ship stage is back! Oh, it looks even better now. <laughs> this, this looks fucking sick. Yeah, there's no guy endlessly jumping off of the boat. Oh, that is not punishable, I understand. Alright, so we can't jump at him. We can't punish that either. Tell you what, let's just wait for a jump in. Jump in on me, coward, you won't. Yeah? Alright, alright, alright. Maybe that's what we gotta do. Maybe we just gotta... Maybe we just gotta bait the jump. But only from a certain range will it actually work. He was ready. He was so ready to flip through that fireball. He's like, I know a fireball's coming. I mean, we're getting our inputs red, but not in such a way that it's like an insurmountable challenge. Like, it seems fine. Oh, 
Oh, word, that's a punish? It doesn't feel like it should be a punish. Yeah, it looks like that flip kick of his is what the super is. That's which of his special moves can become a super, is that flip kick he's doing. Which I guess I'm fine with him using his meter on it. Because when he hits us out of the air, with it, it doesn't, like, do anything. It's a very small amount of damage. Totally fine with it. Ray can't who that? Ray, <laughs> give me back my son! Thank you, Ray Cat, for the 34 whole years. I think Gimme Back My Son is the greatest line that Mel Gibson ever delivered. That's the only nice thing I have to say about Mel Gibson is that one line really makes me laugh. What the fuck? Boulders? That's fine. That's fine. I understand. I found the button. I found the bonus game button. Alright, I don't think we nailed that. I don't think we absolutely crushed it. We missed most of them, I would say. Yeah, there's some smear frames. The Sunsei mirror. I'm filled with fear. I know I can't jump at him. Yeah, is he gonna do that? I have an idea. If we can knock him down in the corner, he'll definitely just keep DPing. I don't know why he fell for that. I just did a raw <laughs> SDP and it worked. Yeah, the bonus game button that we immediately lost. The bonus game button didn't do us didn't do us so good. I like the monkeys in the background just chilling. Oh, I landed. I, I hit the DP, but it didn't knock down. So that means the first hit of the DP isn't the one that knocks down. It's probably like the last, the last hit. Another one. All right, we got him. Soon to say defeated. We got like four opponents left. There's four dudes left. And then if there's like a final boss, probably a final boss afterwards. I couldn't tell you. If not Sao Sao, then who... No, there's three people left, and then if there's, like, a final boss, that's who it would be. If it's not Sao Sao, I don't know who a final boss would be. The final boss is the writer himself of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, I understand. The final boss is the entirety of China. That checks out. I believe you. Yo, can I get a grib? Can I get a grib? Thank you. That's all I wanted. Just give me my grib. Another one. You fool!
Things are going pretty smoothly all of a sudden. We haven't had the credit feed on a person for a while. But we've also just kind of head acidly gone directly for grabs. Did he? He just goes. He just goes right over you with that. I understand. Another one. <laughs> this is this is not a strat. <laughs> it's not a strat at all. All right, we got him. When they seem committed to fireballs, we might as well use our super fireball to go through theirs. We'll still get hit, but then they'll get hit by our entire super, which seems a fair trade to me. That seems okay. As they scroll through the entire roster, looking for which of the two characters left they want to pick. Huang Zhang will be the last of the characters on the character select screen. The old man himself. Uppercut! Oh, shit. I understand. Xiao Yun Gaming? Xiao Yun kind of gaming? Hold on. Yeah, he was definitely rotating. Oh, he's too smart. He was too smart to throw a fireball in that situation. The <laughs> Brian Battler is jealous of Zhao Yun's impressive RPM. Ooh, I wonder if we can bait that. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I have a feeling that we can bait his goofy flip attack that he did on Wake Up. Was there a dog on the stage? I didn't see the dog. Oh, there is a dog back there. Look at that dog go. Amazing. This is the best stage in the game. Right next to the dead guy. Just decorative, just decorative corpses back there. Oh, maybe that's the way. Maybe we just punish his jump-ins, because he's not very smart about them. Yeah. It seems like he's not smart with jump-ins. We can just punish them. Is this the shot they use in the continue screen? I haven't really noticed. You might be right. You fool. Now come over here, though. The coroner's where I want you. That didn't go quite according to plan. We should probably block that standing. Because then he hits us earlier and then we have more time to punish. Watch the final boss beat Brian Badler. Why would that... Why would that be how this works? What were the clues? What were the clues that have inspired you to make this guess? I'm not actually sure if there is anyone after Huang Zhang. I, su I suppose there will be. I assume there'll be, like, a boss character of some sort, but we've been told that Cao Cao's dead in this game, so I don't know who it would be. I mean, he did get beheaded at the end of the first game, so... Yeah, he would be dead as fuck. <laughs> He's got a Shoryuken ass Shoryuken! Yeah, 
Yeah, he's only mostly dead. Maybe it's zombie out cell. Maybe he's a zombie in this game. That's what they gotta do. They gotta make more fighting game characters like zombies for no fucking reason. Remember zombie Liu Kang? What the hell was that? I actually kinda- I actually kinda like zombie Liu Kang, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda liked it. It was cheesy, but I, it, it was pretty- I thought it was neat. <laughs> Oh, word? Oh, word? Yeah, it was unique. I'm not saying it was a good idea, but I thought it was interesting. Okay. Okay. You'll jump in. Fuck it. <laughs> Got sick of waiting for the jump in. Zombie Kang was regret. I thought it was okay. I thought it was, uh. I thought it was okay. I don't think. Okay. I don't think he was the worst idea of that era of Mortal Kombat. Nicknamed the Little Conqueror, Sunsei crushed one general to defeat. Uh, crushed one general to death and scared another to death. I guess we won. There was no final boss. Yeah, I guess that means every character has a unique ending. That's dope. After suffering a fatal arrow wound to the cheek, Sunsei spent his last night alive with his wife. He died. GG's. He's fucking dead. That ended on a very somber note. <laughs> he died very suddenly. Which cheek? Don't worry about it. Don't ask which cheek. There's four cheeks it could have been. Don't worry about which one it was. Well done, you won. Now die. Yeah, you won, now die! I mean, yeah, that's true. It did end on a very somber note, but I suppose... Every character in this game is dead, so... Good. You know. <laughs> Everyone dies from an arrow, historically. Yeah, I mean, it's the most efficient way to kill someone. Back in those times. What are you gonna do, fight them face to face? That's way too dangerous. Just shoot them. Get, like, 50 archers together. Fire a volley at this guy while he's not looking. He'll probably die. Thank you for playing. Never let dreams die. We didn't even get- we didn't beat Guan Yu's score, but we got the second place score. Alright. Unfortunately, that's the end of the Sango Fighters series. After that lawsuit from the Super Fighter devs, C&E, they never- they weren't allowed to sell anymore, and I don't think they made any more games afterwards. But what if I told you this is not the end of the Sango Fighter story on this channel? There's a little bit more- there's a little bit more going on with Sango Fighters these days. All I can tell you is that that is a story for next week. Be there or don't. Thank you for watching, everybody, for whatever the hell this stream was. This was a pretty long one. I didn't think it would be this long. It ended up pretty long, though. Thank you. I'm fine with that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone who hosted and raided and subscribed. Wait! Macaw's on? I never get to raid Macaw. Never ever do I get to Thank raid you. Macaw 45. I'm about to raid his ass. Here I go. Macaw 45 is a man who Thank needs you. no introduction. Absolutely none. Thank you. He's a much more popular streamer than I am. He plays much danker games than I do. And if you like the kind of shit I stream, you'll definitely like the kind of shit he streams. Throw scoots at him. If you don't Thank got you. Dino scoot, throw rack attacks at him. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, see you on Monday. There might even be fight games on Monday. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, bye!